Himiko. Why won't you just explain it to us? Right, just explain Guys, it so that. It's Girl, you are going to die if you don't do this. You're going to die, okay? They're all looking at you because this is your show, okay? How's it going, everybody? My name is Jesse Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Bang and Rampa V3, killing Harmony. So, we all gonna die. And I just feel so bad because I accused him of being a killer when he didn't do anything and now he's dead. So like, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel bad with this one. But this one, I just feel bad personally. So before I dive on in, be sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like for your girl from social media so they can stuff and let's begin. By the way, Dwayne is playing um, Overwatch in the background. So if y'all hear him screaming, that's what it is. For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it came, heard it and came running. I said heard it came. <laughs> what? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what happened. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? what? Break what? it? Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? I mean, here's a point. But what would we even use to break? Hey! Gonta, Keyboy, you're up. Huh? <laughs> So what do you mean we're up? You're so dumb. Don't to throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. How about he use you? How about he, you know what? He got one more time. He got one more time to come after Kibo. He got, he got one more time to come after Kibo and his ass is going on on the side list. He is. I'm gonna write for Kibo Kokichi. That's what I'm gonna write on, this, on the list. I will. Do not mock me. Who are you me. calling a battering don't. ram? Go to throw Kibo. Got it. No, don't do it. Then I'll help Please you. Please wait. No, wait a second. You don't need to team up now. Oh, they really gonna do? Oh, y'all wrong. Y'all are wrong. Oh my God. They are wrong. They really did it. The sound was intense. A wall of piranhas and water dyed red with blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kirami's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. I'm looking at everybody um, that worked on that magic show. Every, anybody that worked on that magic show was a suspect to me, okay? Kibo looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I, don't, I understand why. He's been reduced such that he could be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Mm -hmm. Gonta put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Gonta think they full. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gonta, Gonta, we not we not concerned with how full these fish are. They just ate our our friend, our our, our classmate. You know, like come on. Ew. Today Rioma is fish food, and tomorrow he'll be fish shit. Oh my. Don't say such things. Himiko. Himiko, are is you okay? This... this wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? How? How could this happen? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie. You guys are liars. All of you liars apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. Your disingenuous tears mark you as the liar Did right now. Caught? Oh, you figured it out? You've got a pretty good eye there, Keo. Of course you're lying. We're used to it. We're used to your lies now. Oh, God. And here he go. Oh, my God. Hey! Hey guys, how's it feel now that you got a second murder victim on your hands? Oh. Huh? Ryoma's transparent? Has my x-ray vision superpower finally awakened? Oh That's my god. Mm -hmm. What's up? What? <laughs> what? Father! Father, you don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. All right. Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. That's You're nice. raring to go, Mono. Who are you uh, again? Who you saying? Mono's gay. You should at least remember your own kid's name because he's a bad dad. Like I said, he's a deadbeat. Okay, I don't know why y'all love this man. Mono Funny, are you okay? <laughs> Five, four, hey. Hmm? Are you counting, Monophony? Why are you counting? Oh. Because three, I'm seriously two, I'm gonna puke one now. <laughs> oh my god. Aw, ah. oh, she puked she again. Stupid. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Listen up, we're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly. Capiche? Yes. Also to keep me company. And new mascots present lots of exciting business opportunities. Yes. Shut up, you failure. Yes. Oh, what? Me too? Yo <laughs> Hey, hey, this conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Cause I too Don't we need so. to start investigating or something? All right. all right, I'll get the culprit this time for sure. Hurry up and give us the thingy. Okay. You mean the Monokuma file, right? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. Ha! 
Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business oh. idea. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Let's use this Monokuma file to start a funeral services business. You know how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause and of death? That's that. If we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a little giggle out of the intent. Well, well Pops, what do you think? So You're so freaking cute. Cute? The way you pass out the files is just so cute. Why don't you come with me over here? And Pops is gonna lick me all over. Oh, uh, I don't think you want that. Oh yeah, he, oh no, they are getting licked down. Never mind. Huh, Father showering Monosuke with all his love. Hmm, you think maybe Monosuke is right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough? Oh yeah, I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. Mm-hmm. So Your dad don't like you. He don't care about you. In any event, let us begin an investigation. He's like, whatever. Investigation, so it's really going to start again. I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. <laughs> among us. But um, <laughs> no more. Go to no wanna investigate friends. No wanna suspect friends. Then don't do it. I'm not gonna investigate either. Huh? Because. It'll be fine if you're a shorter person, and I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Hmm. Maki always tried to go off by herself. I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? That seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it, and I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rantaro's investigation, although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing Jeez. in there? Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. And we should investigate what's inside her room because we don't know what's in there. We have no idea what is inside her room. And I wanna see. Like, are you really a child caregiver or do you take care of child vampires? Like, I don't know which one, but we're gonna find out. Boy, I'm seriously around. pissed we gotta do this, but it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because... Gonta and I had to work especially hard so we could regain everyone's you're trust. Right. Oh yes, you're right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? What? Right? Rihanna was murdered during a certain little magic girl show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, but... Ooh. But she's so suspicious that it seems yeah. not suspicious. Right. <laughs> but then again, she made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super hey, suspicious. Hey, degenerate male. Gee, shut up already. How dare you toy with Himiko's pure you heart? Got me. You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me. Shut up, shut up. Himiko would never do something like that. I mean, it's not surprising that she said her name. I mean, she's the only magic girl here. Who else would we be talking about? Come on. I know her best, right, no. Himiko? No. <laughs> this is the perfect you agree anyway. with me. Kimiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? Because if we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit it's killed. Impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Why? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape because it was my magic. I don't think we're gonna get no answer from her. Like I don't think that we're gonna get realistic, helpful answers. We're not gonna get any because we're gonna say, "What is a trick? It's not a trick. It's magic." Okay, well, so show us the magic. I can't show you. Like so, like it's we're not we're not gonna be able to find out. How long is that donkey lip midget gonna keep saying that? <laughs> Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. See what I'm talking about? Y'all see? Y'all see? Cause I'm a There's no trick to my magic, cause it's magic. Yes, bitch, we know. Seriously? Come on. How long are we gonna keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, I'm here, that's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Nico. I'm not bullying her, it's her fault she's being so stubborn. Mm -hmm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right. Actually, this sounds pretty fun. <laughs> to solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. Hmm. He's right, we have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Riona. This investigation is to save all of our lives because we're risking our lives in a class trial. All right, all right, investigation time. So, Shuichi. hey, Shuichi, you got a sec. What's wrong? I mean, Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. Right. You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Oh, you're sidekick? No. I'm more of a scientist guy now, so I'm not really cut out for investigations, but that's a really good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But but I don't know what to do as a side Don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean, so, leave it to me. I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry huh? about. Huh? Got it. 
All right, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Okay. Oh, what's he, what's he talking about? Kaito making me his sidekick like this. Could it be? Huh, I'm scared. I try not, try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Oh. All right. At Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. Hmm. Okay, the victim is Ryoma Hoshi. The ultimate 10 is... Damn, he's 3'5"? He is short! That man couldn't even go in a pool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Lord, and he's 88 pounds? Jesus! <laughs> okay, okay. Let me, let me... <laughs> Let me focus. The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Hmm. Okay. Come on, man. So, basically they're saying that he was dead before the piranhas ate him. He was already dead. He was already drowned. And then the piranhas ate his body afterwards. He was... He was dead. He was. He was in that. He was in that piranha thing. I bet he was. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. What? There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about hmm. this. The time of death isn't written here. Hmm? Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rontaro's time of death, correct? The victim is Rontaro Omami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. They asked me the time of death is 910. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma, and we know that. Yep. We know all of that. But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. Did Monokuma mess no. up? No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. But... Thinking about it that way, it implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Well done. Huh, there you go. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Sir. <laughs> There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. We almost cause of death. Right, right. It said that he drowned and then was eaten. So he died before he was eight. So it says drowning, but if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. Monokuma file two, okay, we'll add right. All right, now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. Kaito, like you're hot, but like you're not the smartest. Like we, we know this. Give us some information that we don't know. He's pretty commanding as I expected. All right, let's look at you, Miss Kirami. You looking at the stage. I should investigate the stage. I'm sure there's a clue there. Mm-hmm. Let's talk to you, Miss Ma'am. You were helping set up the show, right, Kirami? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains. So I do not know the details of her well. trick. I see. Hmm. Let's look at this, because I'm really peculiar about that. When I stood on stage and I looked up, the piranha tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look like as though it has a lid. I can see the ceiling straight through. And only the front side is glass. The other sides are made of wood. So the piranha tank had no lid and only the front was made of glass. Hey, so oh yeah, that tank was from Himiko's research uh. lab. Oh, hey Kaito, you helped carry supplies from the show, right? Yeah, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Angie. It was a lot of work, but I helped just to help carry it. I wonder how they hung it from you know, there. It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It couldn't have been easy to lift. Mm. It seems this is where the lighting batten for the gym's uh. hatch. Oh, clear me. The control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the batten. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised hmm. it again. Hmm. I never knew lightened batons were sturdy enough to lift a tank that like is that. Correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking at everybody that helped out. I'm looking at everyone that helped out. Hmm. So let's see. Let's go ahead and look at. Oh, I can't look at that. Okay, let's look at this the timer. Hmm. This is the timer that was counting down the escape trick. I didn't realize it. It was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. It sure was. Hmm. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. All right, let's look at the light panel. Hmm. What is this? It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the baton. I see. Hmm. You know a lot about it, hear me. Are you the one that set it up? Maybe. Hmm. Keep my eye on Kirby. I don't know. 
There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the What's other the side. What's the matter? You want to check that window okay. out? Yeah, but... Ah. Oh, it's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the yeah. piranha tank. That's right. There was a ladder right next to the stage. I'll go get it. Hmm. Kaito quickly headed off to the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was up, set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so... But, you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? You. Yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. Hmm. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain, oh, hmm. the window is open. Uh -huh. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? Maybe. The culprit may have gone in and out through this so window. what's on the other see. side of the window? Huh. I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. Hmm. Okay. A pool, okay. huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. Hmm. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is this? What? Hmm? What's nothing? It just looks like marks on the window frame. What does the marks look like? The window frame has distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case, I should remember. Hmm. Mark the window frame. Hmm. Trying to get more information. Hey! You done investigating the window? Then I'll go put the ladder okay. back. Yeah, that would be great. Thank Jeez. you, Kaito. Shouldn't the sidekick be doing this? It's more like you are my sidekick, okay? You're my sidekick today, Kaito. He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. Hmm. I've investigated everything I wanted to on stage. Hmm? hmm? We all done here? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's talk to you, Angie. That's right. We need to ask Angie, Angie. about the stage. Hey, Angie, I want to ask you some questions about I... the stage. Yep, I was in charge of all the art. I even built and painted the then... stage. Then, do you know anything about Himiko's trick, how it worked, perhaps? No. Nope. No, I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. Uh, uh, By the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Yep. yep, we started the prep work yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like when we were moving the heavy tank from the stairs from Higo's yeah. research lab, me and Kibo helped with that. The tank had a pulley, but because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Kirimi to sew the curtains because I hate sewing. Thanks. So Be basically, it's all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Yeah. No, it's because of all of us. Look. Y'all don't matter in her mind, okay? It's only a Tua, okay? <laughs> Was it really a success? Uh, By um, the way, were the piranhas your yes. idea? On its own, the underwater escape act is no different from a, ne a normal magic show. So divine! I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we used Atua piranhas. That's what a Tua told me. So a Tua helped you kill this person because you didn't need the piranhas. And now we see that, you know, he's eaten up, but he was dead before then, so I guess it's not entirely her fault, so. So Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um. And about the piranha tank and the timer, those were from Himiko's lab, of course, right? Of course. Yep, yep. According to the piranha tank's manual, it synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the tank will open automatically. I see. That means that most of the equipment came from Himiko's and then... lab. And right when we finished the prep work and we're about to take a break, <laughs> Gota captured us, so we couldn't rehearse at all. Jeez. When Gota let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. No. Oh yeah, you can't enter the gym at yeah, nighttime. Yeah. So we decided to come to the gym today before the morning announcement. Thank you. Kimiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. Ah. What's up, Shuichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, but, Don't worry, uh, it'll be fine. Uh, what? Atua has, has spoken. You have nothing to worry huh? about. Nothing to worry no, about. No. Nothing can escape Atua's sight, not even the culprit. Yeah. Atua is truly a divine force to be reckoned with. Angie is starting to sound more and more creepy. Look, don't even talk to her about that, okay? Can you look at the body near the water tank? Can you look at that? It's the large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken, but in Come bad on, shape. Man. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked but... now. Well, if we had left Riyomo's body there, we wouldn't have been able to That's investigate. Right. I guess it would have been taken too long to just empty the whole tank okay. in the bucket. It was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. So let's look at it. Because we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. Huh. Okay, so let's look at the glass. Let's look at that. The fragments of the broken glass water tank have been piled up. There are so many tiny pieces. Gonta and Tenko certainly didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. They threw him like he wasn't nothing either. The disrespect. Handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs here? 
still locked and there are small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Huh. Okay, now I'm wondering if like Ryoma drowned himself on accident. I don't know. I'm wondering if he drowned himself on accident because there's a scrape on the window and there's a scrape on there. So maybe he was trying to get out or he was trying to get in. One of those two, it seems like it. Maybe, I don't know. What are those handcuffs? Were they in the tank? But I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where did they come from? That's true, there weren't any in the warehouse. So where did they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another place that might have handcuffs is Miss Magic Girl's room. Could it be he's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but it's also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. Huh. Very true, but it didn't look like a prison. It looked like a whole tennis court, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the glass panel. There's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. Then what exactly is this pane? Is it from the window? Is that from the window? I'm thinking that's the window pane from up there. But then, how would, hmm. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to put the pieces together. I feel like that definitely is the window pane though. I don't know. Okay, let's look at the piranhas that are all in the bucket. That was, Ryoma was their last meal, okay. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, I shouldn't say that. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Gonta said that he picked up all the piranhas and put them here. I can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Wait, yes I can. <laughs> when I think that Ryoma is inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. <laughs> Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? <laughs> Only the strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul so that he may enter into his Come kingdom. On, can he really go there looking but, like this? But... Those piranhas sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. Huh? What are you talking uh... about? I noticed it right as the show started. What does it I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday. No. More piranhas? Uh -huh. What? Did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could reproduce that fast. But, but, but compared to yesterday, the piranhas look super crammed into that tank. Yo, Ryoma was in there. Ryoma was in that tank. I think I think that Ryoma was in that tank. I think Ryoma was already in that tank, dead. And because they were crammed, they couldn't eat his body until he fell into the damn water tank that had a lot of space, and then they could feast on his ass. That's what I think happened. And I think that that pain that, that glass is from the window pane that was there, connected from the pool to the gym. That's what I think. But I don't know how it ended up there. I don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. So they looked more crammed dear, together. Dear. The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas there were. Oh my. But anyway, it was super, super, super crammed. What a surprise. Super, super, super crammed. <sighs> Jeez, we get it. <laughs> more piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. Hmm. Y'all, I'm sorry that I'm staring at it. Or. Or y'all, I'm, I'm thinking this. Okay, so there's cardboard on the other side, right? There's cardboard. I'm thinking that, okay, the first window pane was already there, like in this box. But I think the second one that is in question was on the other side, maybe separating Rioma from the pir piranhas. Maybe the piranhas were pushed, like, like further in so that they're, they're crammed and then Ryoma was on the other side and then when everything fell down, everything fell down together and that's why Ryoma wasn't eaten until he fell down. Because he was separated with that window pane. That's what I think. Or I'm thinking too hard. Okay, okay, okay. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now, not even a shadow of what he was. What the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. Uh, okay. I'm certain of it. Yeah, that was him. Remember. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. Damn. Damn. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome well. way. The water filled with blood so fast, we couldn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But this skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. Jeez. Jeez, I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. That's what I was saying, like he felt so suicidal. Like, and I was feeling so bad of accusing him of being a killer, and now he's dead, and I can't do anything about it. Like, no. 
No, I don't think that's right, Kaito. Ryama wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us. He wanted to live. Huh? What do you mean he was jealous? I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have that reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> then he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food or your friends? Damn it, that idiot. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you, you're right. Hmm. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to the room. That's it. If we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Huh? What's in his room to Remember. investigate? The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Then you think Ryoma was killed because of that no. video? I can't say for certain, but we should check just in case. Although, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point thinking about that now. Hmm. All right, that's all I wanted to see around the water tank. Gonta, why you look so, why you look so, uh, so scared over there? Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. What happened? Him. Gonta, what's wrong? When Piranhas attacked Ryoma, if Gonta had dived into the tank, then Gonta could have could have helped Ryoma, but Gonta got scared, too scared to do anything. Gonta, sorry, idiot. Gonta, really sorry. Come on, man. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. And even if you had jumped in, they would have eaten you That's too. True. And from what I read in the Monokuma file, you could have saved them anyway, Gonta. Huh? huh? Really? Does it say that in Monokuma you file? Know. You haven't read the Monokuma file yet? Gonta, no, Gonta smart. did not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be helped. Yes, you are, Gonta, you brave soul. What are you talking about? If you got time to apologize, you got time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can right. do. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after huh? all. Information only go to remember. Them. Remember, during the show, you went up on the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, mm. right? Yeah, because go to worry about Himiko. Could it be? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No, no go to see no one in tank. Gonta kind of surprised. You can do it. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta do nothing, Himiko get eaten by piranhas. And then he said, huh? But when the piranhas were dropped and the curtains opened, Ryoma was in the tank, right? Um, yeah, that's right. So... Then when did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen? Oh. Gonta don't know. Everyone see Ryoma in tank when piranhas drop in Sorry. after that. Sorry, Gonta should've watched tank better. Badass. Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize um, so easily. Yeah, you no. right. But this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappearing was part of the underwater escape act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? What was that part, and was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be an important point of this case. I'm thinking that there were two glasses. The one that was already there for the box that's still sitting there, and then the one that is from the window pane. Y'all know my head goes turning. I really think it's Kirami. I feel like it might be Kirami, okay? Because for one, Nobody knew how to get that thing up there, the little small tank, right? But Kirami was the one who knew how to use and operate that light panel. She knew what it was, and it seems like that can be lifted to the window that was looking into the pool, because that's a high window. She used that to separate the piranhas from Ryoma and set Ryoma on the other side, I'm guessing. And then when the timer went out, dropped everybody that was in that box, Ryoma and the piranha, all at once, and then that's when he got eaten up. But my question is, did somebody tell her to do it? Because she's the ultimate maid and she doesn't she doesn't reject anybody's request. And she even said that even if her own feelings go against it, she doesn't reject the request. So I wonder if somebody told her to kill him. I don't know. That's the thing. I still feel like Kirami did it. But I don't know if somebody told her to do it. I don't know. I never imagined such a cruel murder happening in such a fun show. Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act that they wish to see us no. panic? I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made us main use of it, yes? If that's true, did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual no, magic? Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Hmm. 
Kirmi murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate um, backstage? Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. We follow Kyo backstage. So what's he looking at? Huh. Okay, oh. Oh, there's rope. A pretty long rope. What was it used for? Hmm, I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in length. You can tell just by looking at it, right? Oh, see, I don't know. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is this sexual? <laughs> When it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged for me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, then there's a stair staircase. This staircase goes up to the top of the stage. At first glance, there's nothing particularly suspicious about it. There might be some trick to it, but only a magician would know. So Himiko, we gotta ask Himiko. Hmm, there's nothing strange about it from behind other than the large size, it's a normal I tank. See. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. Very mysterious, how I wonder did Himiko escape from That's the right. tank. If, well, if we figured out that easily, it would, wouldn't be a magic yeah, trick. Whatever. I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we would discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true. There is a high probability that they used the same route to reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. Hmm. What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor found it. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here doing That's something. That's true. Changing wet clothes? But but how would you get from the water tank to this space behind the staircase? Could it be? This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a doorway, like, in the tank? I don't know. I don't know. I investigated just about everything to do with the stage, but I still don't know how the hey, trick is so performed. How long are you going to investigate here? We still got to find a culprit, you know? Come on, let's go. Hmm. Kaito. Wait, Kaito. Oh? Oh? My magic was supposed to make everyone Himiko. smile. Don't worry, everyone is smiling. I don't think any of us can smile um, right now, except for Angie. She the only one sitting there smiling. <laughs> Here we go. If it's all right, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? No. We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve what this mystery. What are you saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It's Come magic. On, man. You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're Stop in? It. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was a magic. Huh? But, I'll protect you. Okay, your time's up. The Q&A session is now over. Yay! Unless you want to feel the full volcanic breath of my Neo Aikido. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than security at idol events. If Himiko mail. says it's magic, then it's magic. Got it? I'll, okay, yeah, okay. If we don't understand a magic trick, how can we survive? Himiko. I mean, Tanko, shit. Call me all by each other's names. Okay. Hey, Felwad, there's something I need you to tell me. That's not a very polite way to ask someone you for know. something. I've got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonsa capture you guys last night. <laughs> the hell was that all about? I was running around so I got no clue what got happened. It. Oh yeah, tell me too. I was also running, so I don't know what went on. How did Muse escape from Gonsa? She's not strong enough to fight Why you? Chop, chop, you slimy shit. Uh -huh. uh, um, well, I suppose you could say that Gonsa was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Sumigi, Tenko, and I. Himiko and Angie were brought in later. Uh, from the gym, okay. right? Exactly, and Kokichi left the room around 9 p.m. So they must have been brought in about five minutes before I remember that. Correctly. We were all forced to participate in Gonsa's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime around 11 p.m. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me, Kirimi, Maki, and Ryoma. Hmm, we gotta talk to Maki too, because She's being kind of secretive, you know? <laughs> I see, you've learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? Why? <laughs> By the way, Mew, how are you able to get away from Gonta? Huh? Oh, well, um, I had to use my secret woman pe weapon, and that, let's just leave it at that. Did you, did you show him your cootie cat? Did you show him, did you show him the goods? Like, what did you do? I don't know. <laughs> huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> Wait! Hey, what's a secret woman weapon? <laughs> She's not gonna say it. Is she trying to laugh Come at on. all? Shuichi, just leave her be. Listening to her will just tire right. you out. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. Hmm. Okay, so the insect meet and greet. All right. So who did I not talk to? I have not talked to Kibo. Wait. Yeah, Kibo. Um... 
Although there are many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is what, when was Ryoma murdered? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously, the culprit knew how Himiko's trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. Huh. In other words, everyone watching the show is but suspicious. Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did well, you? That's... No, but I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a promise. So I was just eating breakfast. Of course. Oh, he's talking about Kaede's promise, maybe. To eat breakfast together. Oh, You got it? I'm not suspicious. Oh, I do not understand how the explanation is supposed to convince me. <laughs> Kimo does have a point. He's like, you still a suspect, because you was, you know. I believe we've investigated everything we need to for now. Well, our investigation's over now, so who's no. the culprit? I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to Come investigate. On, man. What, you still don't know? I never thought detective work would be so much work. So where else do we gotta what? investigate? First, the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked That's at. That's true. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room and find out which motive video he had. Then I want to investigate the ultimate tennis pros lab. I've deduced that the handcuffs we found in the water tank probably came from there. Is that oh. everything? Last of all, to the ultimate magician's lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Mm. So we still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting right. here. All Don't right. Screw around. What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is there a right way to respond to that? No, there isn't. There isn't. Hmm, so this is Himiko's research lab. What are we gonna investigate again? The trick that Himiko used in her magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know, well, you say that, but what if it was real magic with no tricks or mechanisms? You know, knowing this game, it might actually be. It might actually be real magic. She might actually poop her ass out of that damn tank. We have no idea because she's not saying it. That's... Well, that would be a problem, but it's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. All right, Kokichi, a liar, what you gotta say? Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi, did you want to ask me something? Okay. I'll tell you anything you want to know. You are my favorite after all. Okay, like, dude, I already know you're a liar. You don't got to be blatantly obvious that you're lying about it either. When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Hey. I do, actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You snuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? Came back pretty late. I see. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after, which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious since everyone was doing their own hey. thing. And what were you doing then? It'd be easier if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, going to brought Kimiko and Angie. That was about five minutes before 9 p.m. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and headed towards the dorms. I thought I'd be back in an hour, the start of nighttime, but something huh? happened. Something happened? Hmm. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirami spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. As she should, as she should. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? I mean, you asked her to be. So now she is gonna be your mom. <laughs> if I remember Did you ask her to be your mom already? Right, right, should we just so she just kept talking, then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled uh -huh. around. A whole hour? <laughs> well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. She was starting to bore me, so I turned around to leave. And then, hmm. please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. <laughs> Come on, Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. Is that a request? <laughs> She's like, do you want to confirm that so I can go ahead and play tag? <laughs> so that means... And then I guess Kirmi decided to take tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she caught me a little before 10 p.m. Then she started lecturing me again and let me go when nighttime started. So, so do your alibis still hold up even when she was chasing you around? Maybe. We ran into each other a bunch of times, so yeah, they should hold up. Then from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Kirimi had alibis. <laughs> After Kirimi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. But by the time I returned to Gonta's lab, it was already 11 p.m. Then from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Uh, oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kirimi was lecturing. Huh? Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. A girl in her underwear? What the hell is he talking about? A girl in her underwear? Is it Maki? Is it Mew? Hold on, is it Mew? Because she said that she used her woman weapon. So was it Mew? And why was she naked? I, I don't know, I don't know. By the way,
away. You didn't get captured by Konta yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you? And what were you doing? Okay. I was running around the whole time. I hid in bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. Mm. Hmm, I see. He's like, you suspicious to me. Huh, Kaito? Might be you too. I don't know. Let's talk to Sumigi. She's here. Hmm. What are you doing here, Sumigi? Huh? Well, I'm investigating. I know I'm plain, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Uh, okay. Is that so? Hey, so? So, did you find any clues? Uh, I'm still thinking about hmm. that. I don't think you can uncover clues just by thinking about no. them. No. Um, no. In fact, I still haven't found yeah. anything. Then get to it. Looking around is how you find clues. But I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. Sumiki gave Kokichi a meaningful hey. glance. So, I've decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help out. Man, she said plain way too much, man. I, I'm getting tired of it. But you know. Even if it's to solve this case, revealing Kimigo's tricks is, well, it makes things kind of boring. Huh? Huh? Kaito, are you the type who wants to believe in magic? Oh, oh Kaito believes in Himiko's magic. Idiot. That's not what I mean. I was just thinking that her tricks are like magic that brings smiles to me. I see. Ah, oh, yes. I guess you could think about it yeah. that way. Besides, it's just like my dream to go to space. I believe I can travel across the Milky Way. I believe I will meet aliens. Flying around space with thoughts like that is true spirit of adventure. Ah, so it's like that. Kaito, that you're so the stupidest dumb. thing I've ever heard. Your idealistic dreams won't help this what? situation. Hey, who you calling stupid? Uh, 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 no, need to yell. Go ahead and punch him one time, Kaito. Just go ahead and punch him. Somebody punch him. Please, because I can't do it. It's a huge water tank. It looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... It looks like the same tank Himiko used in the show. I guess this one was a backup. That's what Himiko told me and Kibo when we carried the tank out of then... here. Then perhaps if we investigate this tank, we can learn the secret of the trick. Hmm. And Curtis, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or mechanism. Huh? What's this? There's a segment on the tank near the top that opens up. But why open up there? Huh? Wait, perhaps it isn't random. The segment had to open up here. Hmm. Huh. So she could get out from the side. Oh, I think that's why there was a puddle. So maybe Himiko's magic was her pushing that so that she can get out. And that's why there's a puddle there. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Maki, you might want to open up, baby girl, because I need to see. Hey. Maki, what are you doing here? Um. Earlier, you said that you weren't going to help us investigate. Were you serious about so that? Right. You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you could solve this case in your uh, own? Um, that's completely different. This is, uh, that's pretty harsh, but my sidekick is working his ass uh, off. Sidekick? Yeah, Shuichi's my sidekick hey. now. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be a sidekick. <laughs> the dumb one? I'm more of a scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my well. thing. Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? It would. And you know what else would be helpful? Another set of eyes, okay? How about yours? Sheesh. You know... More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there oh a reason? God, no. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. You've been in here ever since this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure no one else enters. Huh? I don't understand. Is this an interrogation? It could be. If you don't answer our questions, it very much could be, Maki. Because I like you, but I want to get into that room. All right? No. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey. It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? But you should at least cooperate with our because investigation. Because all of our lives are on the line. That so? Even if I did cooperate, I wouldn't be any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last hey. night. Then I can ask you this. Did you see Gonta at all last night? Gonta was searching the grounds last night trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being Let's caught? See. Gonta did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him. If you lay a hand on me, you'll choke to death on your own tongue. That's all. <laughs> I mean, I'll leave you alone too, girl. He was like, you know what? I'm going to leave. <laughs> so Gonta got scared off by that? Well, I guess he would hold back against the girl. As I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done huh? here. Huh, you are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. I don't think she killed her. Or did you? I don't know. She's sitting there not saying anything. Hey, so. But if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in He's you. He's my sidekick, you know? He's pretty good. Hmm. In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time. But no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. Hmm. 
So what is in the room? I want to know what's in the room. Can I go? Sheesh, and carry me what you're doing over here, girl. Because you a suspect too. What are you what are you doing here, Care me? Do you agree? We all agree to investigate with at least one other person present, yes. As she spoke, she glanced toward Maki. Mm. So you're staying with Got Maki. It. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a may massage? I? But of course, since you are here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? The time of death was not provided, so I'm questioning everyone in order to determine. What do you think? When was the last time that you saw Ryo uh, Maki? Um, right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around six in the evening. So... The last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him all to, at all yesterday, actually. Mm. Then you are fine, Kaito. What's important is the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey. The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. Gonto was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. Yes, Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using his Shukuchi method. <laughs> so Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Furthermore, 30 minutes earlier, Mew saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonto. In that case, Gonto's testimony is highly yes. credible. Yes, well, we at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday around 8 p.m. Hmm. Hmm. What were y'all doing? Because he said that he saw Mew, but then she used her woman weapon. And then they say that someone was running around naked. So was that Mew? Was that Mew naked? And why? Why was she naked? The ultimate tennis pros laugh. From right, then, the handcuffs that were found in the tank came from here. And if the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter? What's the matter, no. Shuichi? Nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. Hmm. So, let's look around here. Let's look at not that. Let's look at showers. Oh, oh! So that wasn't just showers. It was showers slash prison. And I do see that the handcuffs are missing on there. There's a pair of handcuffs missing. Hmm. This is the first time I've been in here. It's a shower room, but it feels less like the Ultimate Tennis Pro. Hmm. Hmm. And more like the Ultimate Prisoner's Lab. Hey, so... Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Did they remodel the shower just okay. for that? Yeah, I think they <sighs> did. Jeez, Monokuma's got bad taste. Well, we already knew that. Well, maybe Ryoma felt comfortable with this. I don't know. Maybe he felt like he deserved this. I don't know. Hmm. Let's look at this, because I see that that's missing. There they are, the handcuffs. Um. Look, Kaito, handcuffs hanging on the wall. Oh, they look like the ones in the tank. Or wait, are they the tank? Gosh. I think so. Here, look. Remember. See, one empty hook. The handcuffs we found must have been hung here. That means the culprit was definitely here. Huh. I'm trying to think, y'all. My, my wheels are turning. I'm trying to think. Okay, let's look at the sink. This is a pretty big stone sink. You can fill up. You could fill it up with a lot hmm. of water. Huh, what is this? Hmm. Scratches on the stone, like something was scraped against it. So... Huh, you're right. What made them? Hmm. These scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. Now I'm trying to think, like, was the scratch handcuffs because of this? Or was it because of... No. Actually, maybe. Maybe the scratch handcuffs were because of this stone. And I'm thinking that the scrape from the window steel was from them actually using the glass from the window. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think, y'all. I'm trying to think. This window has no vines or barbed wire or bars blocking it. And there was that one window I could see from the pool area. Hmm. Huh. This is probably that window. I shouldn't open it. I should open it to make sure. So his room looks over to the pool? Just as I suspected. Uh-huh. The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so this wasn't... Uh, I got I got these two windows. I got these two windows mixed up. Okay, so the small window was not from the gym. The gym had a big window that leads to the pool. But this one, the small one, was the other one that we saw when we were down there that leads to the pool. Got it, got it. Wait up, we're on the third floor, so we're pretty high up, right? If you did it just right, I think you could jump right into the pool. You're pool. right. Yeah, you could swim at any time other than nighttime. But... It said that in the school rules and in the rules in the pool area as well. Oh. I see, well, I don't want to swim, so that doesn't really affect me. Wait a sec, what's huh? this, huh? Hey, so. Look, there are some weird scratches in the window okay. frame. You're right, there are definite abrasions here. These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym window frame. I'm positive these marks aren't the result of opening and closing the window normally. 
This window frame is sturdy as well. So Jim's window frame was the same way. It looks like it would hold even with a lot of weight on it. Shuichi! Hmm. Now you understand, right, huh? Shuichi? Go. What? How amazing I am to have noticed such an ultra super important clue. Uh, it's all of the day's work for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. <laughs> Whatever you say. I was about to say Bay, but that's he's not Bay. He's not Bay anymore. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too, but I won't say that. I'm trying to think. Okay, so was he drowned from there? Did they drown him in the pool? Like, did they drop him from this window? Whoever the killer was, did the killer drop him from this window? Make him fall into the pool where I'm guessing that he can't swim and he's too short to get out of it and drown there. They got his body from there then used the window from the gym to then place his already dead body within that light thing and then get him in the tank that way? I don't know. I don't know. We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank, but we found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there are too many points of concern to be mere coincidence. I said that weird. <laughs> it must be important hey. evidence. It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. All right. All right then, on to the next place. There's no point in okay. staying here. Right. Hmm. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. I'm trying to put the pieces together. You know I overthink things, so. So, so where should we go? Whoa. Oh, oh, he came out of the shower room. Kaito tripped and fell to the ground. Hold up. The hell? Something's caught on my leg. Ah, oh, it looks like a cable. Ah. Huh, is this meant for the tennis net? Man, whoever left this here should've put it in the corner. Wait, a tennis hmm. net? I see, so that's why this room felt odd. I should investigate this in detail. Huh, oh, the tennis net was ground. Hmm. The reason I thought this room felt off is because of the net. It was up before. When I came here last time, the tennis net was up. Okay. But now this cable has been removed. Oh. So like, if someone took the cable off, why would they do that? Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Kaito, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. No need. It's just about 50 feet long. What's up with y'all just knowing the length just by looking at it wrapped up? How do y'all know that? How? How? <laughs> huh? What? Ah. Oh, I was in a tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable uh, is. Um, you were in tennis that's club? That's right. That's why it pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting hey. like that. Did you know Ryoma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. You know. I mean, these days, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to every tennis kid. Jeez. And then, once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much, I ended up being too hard on him. Well, they do say, don't meet your heroes. I think they say that for a reason, so. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. Hmm. So... so what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Did something about it bother no. you? No, nothing specific. I was just checking. Hmm. hmm. So detectives get bored by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law nitpicking a young wife. Uh. What is that analogy? Okay, huh. All right, I searched the whole area now. I should move on to the next one. There are still other places left to search. I am getting suspicious. I'm having, I have like two possibilities, okay? I have two possibilities in my head right now. So, the scrapes on the window, it matches the same one from the gym window. And I'm thinking either one or two things. One, one possibility is that they use the handcuffs to, okay, so imagine you have handcuffs, right? Your handcuff, and then there's a hole in the handcuff, right? Maybe they could tie him, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, okay, so this is what I'm thinking, okay? It's gonna sound complicated, but hopefully it, it makes sense as I say it, all right? Let's talk here. So, I'm thinking that that cable, since it's 50 feet, could easily reach the other window to the gym, right? I'm thinking that however they drowned his ass, however they drowned Ryoma, maybe in the sink, maybe they drowned him in the sink, and then they somehow pushed his body through the handcuffs, like using the handcuffs as kind of like a, I don't know what it's called, but like, you know those things like when you go like down, 
when you go on a on a on a rope and you're like sliding down the rope with like a mechanism, like I feel like they use the handcuffs to push his ass because he's not big. He's only 88 pounds. So they push his ass across to that tank so that he can sit in there. Maybe. Okay? Or possibility two is that they used that rope to get in and out of his room to drown his ass in the pool, pick his ass back up, and reel him in to the tank. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking a lot. I'm thinking a lot. This is Rihanna's room, huh? So where's his video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Maybe he put it on his bookcase. Hmm. Kaito opened up all the drawers one by one, checking each of them. Huh? That's weird. I can't find it anywhere. I see. So we can't find it. That's all right. That's a clue in itself. Huh? What do you mean? You see, if you suppose the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember. If their motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah, That's okay. true. And the video is not in the room. Got it. Means. So it's just like we thought, that video was a okay. motive. Yeah, that's the best explanation I can that's think of. That's my All right, kick. that's just what I'd expect from my top five kick. Aw, his grandparents' video. Hmm. Shuichi. What's the matter, no. Shuichi? Nothing. So, By the way, I was thinking. I mean... Maybe we all should have watched those motive videos after huh? all. What? Yeah. They showed the most important people to us, right? Yeah. That's right. So maybe we should have watched them without looking away from the truth. I mean... At the time, I agree with Kibo, but after thinking about it, I changed my right. mind. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we should have just watched them together. Uh, um, watched them together? It. Yeah, we should have just gathered around together and watch all the videos, share everybody's motives. Even if it's something that you can't bear by yourself, it'd be possible that yeah. that's what cooperation is, uh, right? That's what Kokichi was trying uh, to do, huh? Hey. Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same mm. room. Do you think this was a way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? No, if that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would have done, but the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Okay? Maybe he did want us to cooperate, but there's no way to know for sure. He'd never tell us. That's true, it's impossible to know what Kokichi is thinking, but I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. I should investigate here as well, just in case. When I opened the closet, I've discovered several identical sets of clothes, just like Ryoma wore, just like my room. Ah. Yeah, my closet's like this too. It's packed with nothing but my mm. uniforms. Really? It must be the same That's for right. everyone. There's no cups pads here, so the culprit must have taken it. Hmm. There wasn't a tire in there before. What the hell is that? There's an inner tube floating in a pool. It looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. Let me guess, some idiots didn't clean up after themselves. That wasn't there before. Oh my god. What? Oh my god! Lord, what do you want? Don't look at us. I don't like water, I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water and makes losing weight a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Ah. <laughs> you know, Mana Dan might be onto something. I kind of want to go to the pool now. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? You stupid. Idiots, we're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards into the pits of hell. We're the Mana Cubs, the meanest, nastiest, coolest mascots around. Dumbass. If you don't get it, I'll throw you all into the pool myself. Ah, oh, please don't. Mana Skate, please stop. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> Coming from the killer? <laughs> what? You saying that if we don't get along, I'll end up like Mana Kid? Uh, you might. He said so it could be arranged. <laughs> he said it could be arranged. So then it was one of us that put the inner tube there, not the monocubs. Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. It isn't related to the case. If it were just for playing around, then why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? That is intriguing. Hmm. And what about this? The bits of fabric. That looks like his clothes. Maybe. I don't know. And <laughs> there's something else floating in the pool. Hmm. It looks like a little piece of fabric. Jeez. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried no. about. We're looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up uh, trash. Okay. Ah, yes, but perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to trust it sometimes. My intuition as an ultimate detective. Hmm. Whose clothes is that? Who wears black? Rioma does. Kirami does. Maki does. I'm looking at a lot of people. I'm looking at a lot of people. That's the window to the shower room in Ryoma's lab. Huh. And then let's look at this, the storage room. We didn't go in. 
This is the pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside just in case. But is that an electric air pump? I see, you could easily fill a large inner tube with this. Huh, there doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. So someone filled up that tube in the pool. Let's look at this. You can see the gym's window from over there. But that's the window we investigated from on top of the stage in the gym. I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just a ladder. Okay. I agree, the ladder only barely reached the window and it was on the stage. Mm. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gone okay. through here. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece it. There's something bothering me about this pool rules. They say, oh, what? 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 Ma what? What, Monokuma? No, no jumping into the pool, especially at night time. Whoa, where'd you come from? I mean, jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or a train, that's on you. No, no, no. But the pool is off limits at nighttime. See? No swimming at nighttime. That's that would be a violation, hey, right? Um... If anyone violates the school regulation, the campus wide siren will blare. Yeah! And then that person will be ripped apart by their exes. What? You go that yeah. far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no no one's needed to be ripped apart. <laughs> yes. Um mm. Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool oh, yeah. at night time? Well, at the very least, no one alive. So this is maybe confirming that Ryoma was drowned, maybe, in the sink that's in his prison shower, and then pushed across to the other side, maybe, I don't know. Pushed across by that rope, maybe, I don't know. No swimming at night time. That just might play into this case. Hmm. So Monokuma confirmed that yes, he was dead and his his dead body passed through here. That's what he's saying. His dead body passed through here. Hey, so. Hey, Shuichi, does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there were any clues but... here. Well, that inner tube is still bothering me. I don't know what that tells us, but I feel like it's related to the case. You know. But you know, if that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? So... Just leaving it sitting out like that. Don't you think that's straight up careless? No. no, even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pool pole, I'm sorry. There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get that inner tube. Remember. The water level is so low, you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. Then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Oh, that's right, they couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yeah, I suppose you could think of it that way. Hmm. It's bothering me too. I don't know. I don't know what the tube is for. Already tired Already? of investigating? I need to stop. Oh, <laughs> you've been tired of it for a while now? Yeah, it was a long investigation. Well, that's how it goes. Hmm. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. Mm -hmm. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. The punishment. Kind of like class searching trial. the internet Sorry. for that perfect porno video. Excuse me? In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? Anyway, Why are we talking about porn? the class trial is starting soon. Oh my Please god. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. This bear <laughs> is just inappropriate at all times. Hey, why do you look so worried Don't worry now? About it. Don't worry, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> believe in me. Why? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaiso? There's a chance that I'm Idiot. the Idiot. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than huh? that? What? Listen up. Isn't that why I believe in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the I end, believe in if you. I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi! Hmm. Shuichi, we're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it. If you're not going to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now's all you got. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, Kaito, I know. Chin up. Yeah, that's the expression I wanted to see. That's my sidekick. He's right, I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive That's together. It. Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. No, I want to live. I want to live a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this, never. Hmm. My suspect still, even though Kaito's with me, he's still a suspect too, because he was just running around. But my suspects are Kaito, Cure me. Maybe even Maki. But I'm heavy on Kirami right now. I'm heavy on Kirami. Because who wears black? Kirami does. Ryoma does too. So I don't know. 
Is everyone ready? <laughs> Not like we have a choice, right? You're quick to understand. It's as though Madakuma has you trained. What? We got nothing to worry about, right, assholes? We'll figure out the culprit, don't won't worry. we? Of course we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time. Well, who the hell is it, Kokichi? Hey. You? Right, Himiko? Oh, uh, how dare you bully Himiko, you degenerate? You want me to keto chop your head off, huh? Wait. That's not even a keto anymore, Either is it? Way. This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments That's until right. then. Yeah, let's put an end to this at the class trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go, y'all. What if I'm wrong about Kiri? I'll be wrong and have to apologize to her, just like I did with Ryoma. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm not wrong, but my sights are set on Kirami. I don't know why. But that's what my 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 heart is telling me. I don't know. The door up here before us was pumped as if sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all stepped toward the door. Hmm. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we passed through the door. What happened? Oh, we went down. Okay. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't mind the shaking, but I'm feeling especially sensitive to it right now. Each of us felt the trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have had fallen. I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves, we got it. The elevator came to a stop, but this wasn't the end. No, it was only just the beginning. You've hopelessly arrived once again. Hmm, did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who used the exosuits to build this courtroom. But Father just took all the credit because he's a bad dad. I keep telling y'all this. Why don't y'all learn? He doesn't care about y'all. He's a deadbeat, okay? <laughs> wonderful. But I am happy to be used as a slave by Father. <laughs> what are you saying? You idiots are really committing to this henchman bit. They're so you guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom, almost like it's for show. Oh? For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put mm -hmm. it. Is this just for show? Are you showing this to the people outside? And <laughs> is he? Is he? Maybe broadcasting it again? I don't know. So those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us, as in they're no longer with us. You know what I mean? Hey, um... In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> He's lying. He got it. Is he? <laughs> then the class trial began. Aww, Real Mahoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us to get out of here with us. For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him is here right now. I want to believe that's a lie. I don't, but if this were... If this is where I can find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish that she entrusted to me. Yep, Kaede. I will find the truth to get out of here with everyone alive. I'm going to survive. I can't die here in order to keep my promise to her. Aww. I will fight. I will fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. All right, y'all. Now it's time to get into this class trial. So let's go ahead and start. I already set my skills. We almost dead. We need to figure out who did it, okay? Class trial in session. <laughs> I don't have that like judge voice. I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's. Hmm. Let's combine our power and work together, everyone. Oh. Um, the person who's most suspicious is. <laughs> now let me your energy, everyone, so we can catch the culprit. <laughs> She's not gonna let him talk. Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be. Oh. Girl. I'm form today. Can you stop interrupting? Can you stop? I know you like Himiko. I know she's your girl. But like, shut up, okay? <laughs> Tenko, why are you interrupting me? Right. You can't have a good trial if you talk over me. I agree with you now. I agree well, with Kokichi I'm now. not interrupting you. Yes, you are. Whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway, because all males you want to talk about is uh. S-E. <laughs> Himiko seems suspicious. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And wait, hold on, Angie. <laughs> Angie, why you say here we go? <laughs> Weren't you setting up too? Like, what? Yeah. What? Hey! Angie, how can you accuse him? You were helping her! <laughs> Aren't you her friend? Right! Um, I'm just telling you what Atua is telling me! Oh my god. He is using his divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. 
<laughs> you should thank him. Oh. Lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. Okay, girl, we don't need that right now, okay? That guy's got nothing on me. Right. I'll protect Himiko. But it okay, Tango, we need Himiko some, we need some evidence. Suspicious. Hmm. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. Right. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. Oh, really? It's only natural we suspect Himiko. She was the one performing the trick. True, but I don't think she did it. She's not suspicious to me, at least. I think that whoever helped set up this magic show are the suspicious ones. Everyone that helped is on my case. And whoever wears black. I saw a little black piece of cloth there, too. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. Oh my god. It was magic. If I hear this one more damn time, yo. Oh my goodness. It's not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Right. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. <laughs> oh my now, goodness, Angie. did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. Like, she's just gonna admit that. Just, oh yeah, I'm the killer. <laughs> that would be like a five-minute class trial. That's not gonna happen. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true. Mm -mm. It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. Or but somebody used her trick to kill I still don't have a clue Ryoma. how Himiko did the trick. Hmm. Th there's no trick. Oh my god. It really was magic. Oh my god, Himiko. No, maybe it really was magic. Oh, go to you too, gullible. Don't fall for it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. Please don't, because we're all gonna die. Stop I feel picking like she's on not Himiko. her. I feel like it's not her. A tiny flower not her. like her couldn't kill anyone. Hmm. I get that you want to defend her, but that might be a bit much. Right. As I expected, the others suspect Himiko, but I have my doubts. I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstanding. I'm the ultimate detective, so it's up to me. That's right, Sherlock Shuichi. That's right. That's right. Get this court under control, okay? Let's go, Shuichi. Get that confidence up. That's what I like to hear, okay? Atua has blessed me with an epiphany. Okay, hold on. The culprit used the underwater escape trick mm -hmm. to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Riona. Hmm. After that, the time ran out. Uh huh. The tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Right. Ah, and he was eaten alive. Hmm. Eaten to bone by piranhas. Savage way to go. I know, Bonesa. No, that's wrong. Hmm. The underwater escape was no trick. It's magic. No, oh my goodness. You heard it the first time. Titless. Titless. No one cares. Right. <laughs> Wait, did you say titless? <laughs> Because Ryoma's body was eaten by the piranhas that fell into the tank. That is a fact, but that doesn't mean it was the cause of death. He was dead before. He was dead before he even came in the tank. As Hold on, so it's the it's the Monokuma file too. It, it's got to be that one. Okay, not that. No, not that. Uh huh. Going out. Uh huh. No, 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 no. It's that, it's that, it's that right there, that right there. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't, because he was dead before the piranhas ate him, okay? He already drowned. So that's it. No, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. Thank you. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. Which means he was dead before well, It wasn't then. the piranhas then. He was drowned. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I see. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's news to me. What? little brat oh Tell my goodness what, what turns you into a degenerate male this is what she says every so episode <laughs> Ryoma drowned Himiko changed places with him and then the piranhas oh. ate him right no, no I don't I don't think Himiko that happened. only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank right even if they changed places at the start of the show that's insufficient time to drown someone thank you Kibo thank the you case, then when did he drown before when did Ryoma drown? It was obviously, speaking of when he drowned, it was, no, it wasn't after the piranhas dropped. It was before the show started. Maybe? Or during the show? Before the show started? That's it. Okay, that, that one, that one. <laughs> like before? Ryoma was during? already drowned before the show started. Right. Agreed. Mm-hmm. I love his little laugh. <laughs> Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. Right. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. He was already dead. By that point, 
He had already joined the ranks of the dead. He makes it sound so like dark. Well, it is dark. I don't know. His voice makes it sound even worse. Could that mean his body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank? Hmm. Hidden? Where? The culprit hmm. would have had to hide the body near the tank and then show it during the act. I think he was in the tank with the piranhas. Done. But separated. That's what is I there think. Is a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Yes. Oh, wait. Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Mm. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Right, just explain Guys, it so that. It's Girl, you are going to die if you don't do this. You're going to die, okay? They're all looking at you because it's your show, okay? So you just need to explain what your damn magic was like, okay? Oh, my God. No, maybe it really was magic. Go to no. Shut up. Th thank you, Maki, for once. Himiko is committed to her act. Lord. But those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Oh. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. Mm. We should let him vent. Right. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. Uh, what did you talk about, Sui? figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. Right, if she would just tell us. does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. We're going to have to figure it out. We need to work together to reveal the secrets behind Himiko's Thank you, Angie. We here. We here, Angie. <laughs> so, not real magic? Yes, Gonsa, not real magic. No, it was real magic. Lord. Magic. 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 I swear again, so I'm gonna jump through the screen and strangle her. Like, I really do. Oh, no! It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really powerful! A curse now? And incantations usually more um, complicated. complicated than that? Right. Anyway, we first need to determine how Himiko performed the trick. If we can't figure that out, this case is going nowhere. It's just going in circles, okay? Let's figure it out, y'all. Let's get here. Let's let's get on the same page, okay? Okay. Uh, the cramped piranhas. I think. The water tank? Hmm. Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Hmm. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Right. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. Hmm. The curtain covering the tank was certainly suspicious. Mm -hmm. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? That was Maybe the separate. Tank secret hatch. Huh? It must be real magic. There was yeah, a secret hatch. Real Hold escape on. magic. Wasn't there? Wasn't there a secret Maybe hatch? Maybe there were two Himikos. Hmm. No, not at all. And one of them was Sumugi in disguise. Uh, there's no hey, way. There's no what way. What costumes or disguises? Right. There's no way. Okay, that's right. There was a similar water tank in Himiko's lab. If I remember my investigation, there was some trick to the tank, and there was. There was like a little opening in the glass that she can get out. Okay, Himiko so it's not the, the it's tank. not that. So it's gotta be the water tank Let's trick. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Fast forward that. We know that. We know there's a mechanism. Let's see. There we go. Not you. Not you. Ah, there you go. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Shit! Okay, I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. I missed it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Yeah, aha, uh -huh, that. There we go. I agree with that one. There was a secret hatch. Thank you, Maki. There we go. And she wasn't even there. Maki is correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. Thank you. I see. So it did have one. How do you know that, though? Because you weren't even down there helping everybody, were you? Huh. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. I sure did. There was a panel on the side that could open. That was her escape. Mm -hmm. Mind over strength! Uh, Tenko! Tenko, are we really doing this? Are we really doing this, Tenko? No! Your okay. logic is all wrong, Shuichi. All right, guess huh? I'm gonna have to shut you down. What do you mean? And you don't even know why you're wrong either. Oh my Typical god. Degenerate oh male. my god, girl! Come on! <laughs> I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel! Is she serious? Is she serious right now? Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go do this. Okay. Okay. All right. The wet the staircase. Side of the Let's tank do that. Being open. All right. Yeah. Doesn't okay. have anything to do with Himiko's escape. Oh yes, it does. She didn't use an escape hatch. Oh whatever. Let me go get that. There we go. No, she didn't do that. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. And now. I'm gonna punch you! Oh, girl, I would like to see you try. Come on, come on, come on! Wait a second. 
before you punch me. Right. Just what wait. What makes you so sure she didn't? Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you, Shuichi. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, oh my the god, the water would have gushed out with her. It did. That's what there happened. Was water everywhere. There was. There was. I'll cut through your words. There was. There was water right there at the staircase. She didn't even look. There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. Right. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. Mm-hmm. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. Right, it was it right was on there. perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. Thank Meaning, you. Meaning, the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Mm-hmm, and the water would fall in there. See, look, look, thank you, Sweetie. The staircase. His body was in stairs? No, 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 no baby, that, no. It's clear how Kimiko made her escape from underwater. Hmm. There was a curtain covering the tank during look, the Look, look at her little... <laughs> I'm sorry, look at the body, body diagram and like, and then having that image of Himiko <laughs> doing that is just so funny. Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Mm -hmm. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. Right. So how do you get out from the staircase? There's a door. It's like a little door. We saw the little hatch. Right. The staircase also has an escape hatch. One facing away from us. Mm -hmm. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. Mm -hmm. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. But it's all magic. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Yes. This is why we're tired However, of you saying it. That person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. Hmm. There was. It was a puddle. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. Mm -hmm. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Exactly. We know the trick. <laughs> we know. <laughs> bitch. Oh. Got you soaking wet and red-handed. <laughs> she got to call her a bitch, though. <laughs> it's okay. Judging from it's Himiko's okay. reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. It's okay, yes. We figured out the but trick. Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. Hmm. True. That's true. Uh huh. She wasn't Her wet. Clothes were definitely not wet. Right. Of course. That's because my underwater escape mm. wasn't a trick. It was magic. Girl, girl. Magic had nothing to do with why her clothes weren't wet. No. Okay. Oh. She never. She. Oh. She changed her uniform. Maybe. Maybe. That's it. There's a lot of them in the closet. You can just change your uniform. It's mm -hmm. because she changed her uniform. Right. The dormitory is stocked with it's uniforms. Stacked. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? Probably. Uh huh. We catch it on to your trick, girl. Just give it up. I Just give it up. Seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning, carrying a uniform and a towel. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we caught you, baby. Oh, why would you say that? Because it's true. Let's see. She had a towel, too. Mm -hmm. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. Mm -hmm. But her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Mm. Himiko can't get wet, because her body repels water. Oh, does it now? Mm -hmm. Does like it? Like a duck? Right. Himiko, come on. Come on. Give it up already. Thank you. Just give it up, Fine. baby. You win. Thank you. We won't think any less of you, OK? It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. And we know so that. So I was correct. Hmm. But, but that doesn't mean I use them. Oh? I didn't need them, because I used my magic. Yo, she about to be on the on-site list in a second, because I'm getting tired of her saying because of my magic to everything. We cannot move on in this trial with her keep saying this. Like, it's just getting annoying. Again with the magic crap. Were you dropped on your head as a kid? Maybe. Now that we understand how the trick was performed, Jesus, Lord. let us move on. Yes, continue. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? Hmm. From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. No. But that's where Himiko would so. escape from, right? Right. So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? Uh what kind of kinky shit is she into? What kind of kinky shit are you into, okay? Because everything that's not kinky seems to be kinky to you. So what do you be doing? <laughs> that seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. Thank you. I know Ryoma is small, but like, nah. Who says they went in together? Hmm. She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. Hmm. At the same time, 
she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. I guess, I guess so. I guess so. That way she'd have room to put herself in there. Huh. See how easy that is. She has a point. That that could happen. That could happen. I think it could. that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Mm. Wait a minute. Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? I mean, it's her magic show. Who I else mean, but Himiko could have done it. Hmm. I don't think it's her. I really don't think it's her. I really think that it's somebody that helped set it up. And I really am looking at Kirami and who else wore black? Who else wore black? It was somebody else who wore black. Kaito doesn't wear it. And Maki. I'm looking at both of them. Kirimi and Maki. No, mostly Kirimi. Uh, Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us. So <laughs> why are you accusing her? You may huh. think you're protecting Himiko. But what if she really is the culprit? True. We'll all die. And it mm -hmm. will be all your fault. Oh. Atua will lose precious devotees. Hmm. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. Oh, you would you willing to die for her? What? I don't care what anyone says. You willing to die for him? You would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. Okay. I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. Oh my god. So until this she cares for her that much. Breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. Wow, I know this is deep. I didn't know it was this deep with her. Wow, okay. All right, I don't think Himiko is the one though. I really don't. I really don't. The only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body hmm. is Himiko herself. No. When Himiko was escaping the tank, mm -hmm. she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Hmm. And simply switched places with it. Okay. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. Right. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. Hmm. When the tank was covered with a curtain. Hmm. So basically, no one saw anything. I didn't do hmm. it, I swear. Ryoma's I know you didn't do wasn't it, wasn't in the staircase. Quit lying, you donkey lip con artist. <laughs> You do not have lying. to insult everybody, Jesus. She's not a con artist and she doesn't have donkey lips. Thank you. I mean, I agree. Like, you don't have to roast her every time. <laughs> it is possible that Himiko and Ryoma switch places in the water, but I feel like I'm forgetting an important point. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that part. I think it's not that part. Not that. Not that. Almost. We're almost there. Ah, that, that. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. I missed it. Oh my god. Okay, man, I switched the damn. Okay. Lord, I switched the damn. Huh, Lord, I have to go through it all over again. Okay, okay. Come on, Jazz. Come on, Jazz. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. Pay attention. Let's go. Keep going. Yep. Mm hmm. You're beautiful. Let's keep moving. There we go. Uh huh. Not that. Not that. Not that. So that right there. That right there. We're gonna shoot that. Thank you. That's wrong. My aim was off and I couldn't get the B thing. <laughs> I need to get better at that. Oh my God. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Right, because he was on top of the stage. Gonta had climbed onto the stage mm -hmm. and was looking into the tank from above. And then he said, huh? Remember that, Gonta? Isn't that right, Gonta? Right. Yeah. Gonta saw down into tank. But saw no one in there. Hmm. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? Oh. No, that's actually a great clue. Because. because if Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Kimiko <laughs> would have had to pull them out before she went inside. True. There certainly been able wasn't to see enough that. room in the staircase for both of them. Hmm. But that means if the tank was empty when going to look. Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Because it was in a thing with the with the piranhas. I know it is. There's that's the only way. That's the what only if way. They squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught. Mm -mm. She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. Right. The entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Mm -hmm. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. 
Hmm. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster mm -hmm. and seems more rational, too. Yep, oh, thank you, Bebo. Rioma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? I know where it was. No I just want them to give me the chance to say it. Was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats. Oh, really? We just gonna speed up the game? <laughs> where was Rioma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it was not inside the staircase, but where? It was with the same box as the piranhas. He was just probably separated. That's what I'm saying here. Come on now. Come on now. The piranha tank. Where were you Ooh. hiding real? And then it has that too. It wasn't hmm. really in the stairs, was it? No, it was not. After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Mm-hmm. Well, how about behind the curtain? Nope, not behind the there curtain. There's a way to enter the tank from there. Uh-huh. Then the, it would be plausible. The glass window pane? Or maybe the body was in the tank all along. Hmm. But we just couldn't see it. No, no, baby. That's not it. No. Impossible. <laughs> you need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. Right. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? Hmm. No way! If you put a body in there, uh -huh. the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. Not if it was separated. But if the body and piranhas were separated... Oh! Oh! Yes! Hold on! Get that out the way! There! Get that! Get that! Get that! Shit! Shit! I missed! Oh my god! Oh my god! I missed! I missed! I missed! Okay! Okay! Come on! 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 Let's move it forward! I knew what I was shooting at! I just... I just missed! I just missed! Okay! Come on! 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 But it's a body and there we go. All right, let's get that shot out. Let's shoot at that. Damn it! How do I keep missing? Let's shoot that then out. It Damn it! it! We know. All right, now shoot at that. Thank you. Good Lord, Jasmine. Like I missed that. I don't know how many times. My aim gotta get better. Jeez. Your hypothesis is correct. The mm -hmm. body and the piranhas were separated. I told y'all I'd be on it. I told y'all. I told y'all, man. I told y'all. This was a company. Yes, it was separated. That's why he didn't get eaten. Tank. Well, at first, at first, because I didn't know that that was there. At first, I thought that it was too crammed for the piranhas to eat his ass. But once I saw that, I'm like, okay, that could separate the body. See, I'm on it. I'm on it. See, look. <laughs> Just as I thought. Me and me and him gonna be best friends. We are. <laughs> Using that glass pane yep. as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. It sure it could. It's in such a space that the body could be stored, mm -hmm. separated from the piranhas. Uh-huh. That's it. That's that it. Means Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time. Yep, he dropped so with it. So Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Yes, it did. Gota knew it. Oh? What is it? Is that why you said, huh? Gota was above stage when piranhas fall. Uh-huh. And then That's you saw why some Gota extra? sees something no one else could. Oh? When piranhas fell. Going to see some big thing fall into water tank with them. Uh huh. So that's why he said, huh? When it fell in, right when the timer hit zero and the buzzer went off, and then you saw it drop. Uh huh. The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, and a murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Kimiko was swimming in. And then he was like, huh? Yep. No. Now that going to think about it, mm -hmm. going to maybe see Ryoma's body. Oh. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. Because I bet you did it. The huh? water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? Mm-hmm. It sure is. You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? You can, if they're crammed enough. Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. Which was? A certain something? We all well, what is that? that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Yes. Yes, it was. Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Exactly. And with the cram piranhas, you can, can see through it. hide a body like that? Hmm. How was the cobra able to conceal the body in a piranha tank? I think that it was the, hold on, hold on, the cram piranhas, right? This is it. You wouldn't be able to see through that. Yeah, like you would not be able to see through the cram piranhas. It was piranhas. the piranhas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Right, that's why they were huh? so tight together. The piranhas? 
Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? Mm -hmm. She seemed like it was more piranhas than before. I noticed it right as the show started. I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing because they were all crammed up together. They increase that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. No, they don't. It Mew? seemed that Jeez. way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. Mm -hmm. Is that the space that they were swimming in got the smaller? The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? Mm -hmm. The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. I be calling it, yo. I be calling it. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. Yes. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. Yes. The glass pane was lid from the piranha tank. Hmm. It was really easy to detach that lid, so it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Hey, thanks for telling us that useless <laughs> detail. <laughs> okay, I'll... Usually he gets on my nerves, but that was kind of funny. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful. Sure, <laughs> the lid looks a little big, but mm. if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Mm. Nice job, Himiko. Your explanation was awesome. Isn't that from the window? This much well, evidence? It seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Yeah, you know right, that. Himiko, now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you. Hmm. Mm. Really? Girl, you yeah. are not even here. Because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. Mm -hmm. It only means we now have other suspects. Right. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Thank you. Thank you, Korikyo. Okay, but still, that's way better. Hmm. That's a wonderful news, Himiko. Atua is happy for you. She's always smiling in all these death situations. Apologize, Angie. Oh, you God. and Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now. Uh -oh. Atua is sleeping. Ah. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. <laughs> what a petty ass god. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. Mm? We should be mad at this class trial. Well, this killing game. she has a point. Yes, we oh, should. Oh, Himiko. Bless your sweet, kind heart. Mm -mm -mm. That's what Atua said anyway. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Oh. Are you still brainwashed? No, she's not. I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Okay, Tanko. Great. Now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. Right, we need to see who's yeah. suspicious. Why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunked out of tard school or something? <laughs> no, we did not use that word, Mew. Jeez. Nuh-uh. Not everyone. Mm -hmm. We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. That's true. Eh? What alibi? Mm. I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. Oh, don't make her get over that uh <laughs> that stand that she's standing behind. Oh, you behind. Call a dumb pig? Oh wait, I forgot. If there's she this always much evidence, planned. then there's no mistake. The body was hidden in the piranha tank. Mm -hmm. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Right. Kokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have set up this scene. There's only, okay, wait a minute. Yet, huh. Before the, sh before nighttime, right? Or yesterday during nighttime. Was it during nighttime? It couldn't be during nighttime because, I don't know, during? Oh shit. Okay, no 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 no. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I was wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um before? That's it. There we go. I knew it wasn't the morning. I'm like, okay, so I know it's before. It was done the time was never specified, nighttime. really. Ding ding ding! Mm. The ultimate detective gets it right again! Okay. Was that sarcasm? How do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Hmm. Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Oh? Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Oh my god, I've never heard that insult insult before. I've never heard that insult before. Bitchlet? <laughs> Not only are you a bitch, you're a bitch lit. Like, what the, what the hell? Wait! <laughs> First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. True. If you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. Mm -hmm. You talking about my butthole? Oh, oh. No, she means the alarm. Jeez. After nighttime passed, 
morning came. Uh-huh. But hiding the body before the show was... Risky? <laughs> Impossible! Mm-hmm. Kimiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. So they were Which see. leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Mm. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. Okay, considering that I chose the wrong time before he said all this, it's, I feel like that is like an insult to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so goodness. So the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Mm-hmm. Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Oh, so he was dead overnight. Yeah, we know what time the crime happened, right? Hmm. We still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? Huh. I'm sure we can narrow it down more if you consider the source of the information. Hmm. Oh, ooh, wait a minute. Okay, uh, let's see. Not that. Oh, the insect meet and greet, maybe. That. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Ryoma was not present. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't look at I didn't look at everything. Okay. Okay. Uh, or or that. Quirky cookie. Shit! Shit! I was wrong. Shit, 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 shit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Uh the last person who saw Ryoma was gone, so it was around 8 p.m. last night. Maybe that? This is it. Okay, there we go. Get Lori. I was getting everything wrong. We can find oh out God. who last saw Ryoma alive. I need to look we at everything first before I start death. choosing. Kimi, need to look at everything. You were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Right. Yes. Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. Hmm. What? Really? Mm-hmm. And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Hmm. Um. When Gonta was inviting everyone See, to insect meet and greet, insect so meet and greet. Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m.? Hmm. If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began, mm -hmm. then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. Uh-huh. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? And it can't be anybody that was at Simple enough. the insect After meet all, and greet. Most of us were detained by Gonta then. We were. We if were. I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma was Kaito, Maki, and Kirimi, right? That would be the four of us. Uh -huh. Maisa, Kaito, oh, and you. And also, Maki. Right. Well, Kirumi. You would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. Oh! <laughs> I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. I feel like it's still her. I don't know why. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! Oh my goodness. I will also say this. Oh? The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, mm -hmm. and I was at the gym during that time. Setting up that body, huh? Huh? But I was only there for about five minutes. Uh-huh. Why would you even say that, though? Hmm. You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. Huh. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. Right. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Rioma, didn't you? Hmm. It is too I'm soon to tell. I'm thinking that, too. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Correct. We should get more information. Fuck that noise. Oh. But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? Oh, uh, she does. I'm suspicious. Uh, I don't even know where the gym is. Oh, please. Does it please. Doing such obvious lies right. make you more suspicious, Mew? Come on, Mew. I like you. The now. other Come two on. without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimony. Maki was apparently must have been at her room, not letting anyone in there. I don't know, but Ka but Kaito was I think helping, right? I was in my research lab the whole time. Right. I didn't go to the gym. Which we still need to go in. But that being very be secretive. Proven, can it? Hmm. True. She had what nobody about with Kaito? Her. Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. Don't be upset that you can't grow any. Okay, don't come for Kaito. Don't come for him. What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. It's all right. You look fine with it. <laughs> anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. Hmm. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Right. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Oh. Wait up. Oh. Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time. Right. <laughs> Wait. I remember now. 
I do have an alibi. Do you? You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. Mm -hmm. I'm way on the culprit. Oh, Lord. All of them talking all at the same time again. All right. The mass panic debate is going to start. That's what you're thinking, right? Well, you're exactly correct, buddy. But let me give you another tutorial. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. The mass panic debate this time around will have a loud voice dialogue. It's when one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. Oh no, what did I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, it's just like white noise. Shut them up with the X button silencer. After that, all of the arguments will be audible again. Then you just shoot the truth bullet at the weak spot. You know the drill. Okay, so we got it. It's so many things to these trials. All right. Let's do this mass panic debate. Jesus, everybody talking all over each other. Just like an Among Us game. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. Try hiding in the classroom. Hmm. When I was running from Gonta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Until they left with Gonta. Uh-huh. What's Maki's alibi? It's hmm. before 9 p.m. Hmm. I'll sleep. And the girl- Him at 9 p.m. Hmm. I was in my research lab the whole time. No, in my own room. Jeez. Hmm. Okay, let's shoot that down. Okay, I need to sort out everyone's statements just like Kaede did. I need to calm down, focus at one at a time. I was only okay. alone in the gym for about. So let's look at hers. Five minutes. Mm hmm. Only five minutes. Himiko and the others were with me. Hmm. Until they left with Gonta. Uh huh. That was five minutes before 9 p.m. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Right. Are you sure you did not stay? Oh, in my own room! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, we got that, we got that, we got that. Hold up, hold up, Kirby! I this heard. sounds like a lie! So hold on! Hold on! Didn't you say that you was in there? Hmm. No, I think Kirumi is telling the truth. Kikuchi's oh. story proves it. Never mind. <laughs> I thought she was lying. My bad. My bad. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirby spotted me. That's right, that was right after I left Gonta's lab. So it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Oh, I forgot about that. She was lecturing this man for a long time. She just kept talking, then finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. Hmm, a whole hour. Well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Let me play tag for the other half. Mm -hmm. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. And they were together until nighttime. True. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. He sure did. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. I've been saying her name wrong this whole time. Kirumi. I've been saying Kirumi. <laughs> Kirumi. Oh my lord. This information could have been told to us beforehand. It Sorry, forgot. But I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Oh my god, yes you did. We know. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Right. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Oh? Was that supposed to offend me? Right. Your irrationality fills me with pity. <laughs> if I am the culprit, that I like it. Keep on shooting back. In five minutes, hmm. transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. Hmm. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. Mm -hmm. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Right. Gonto and he's is in small the midst enough. of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Hmm. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Maybe. Um, I don't know. That's really difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Hmm. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only mm. ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Okay, let's look at the other three. Neo Let me stop Kato accusing people. Hmm. Ah, you're including me too? Yes, we, I don't know what you've been doing, girl. But there's I don't actually know. one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Oh? Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. <laughs> He's like, just save me already. <laughs> One person can be eliminated as a suspect, according to Kokichi. He must be talking about the figure he saw. They certainly would have an alibi. We need to pin down who that was. The key to that fact lies in Kokichi, Gonta, and Mew's statements. According to what we know, that figure Kokichi saw must be... Mew, right? That's it! Right? Yeah, the naked person? Kokichi, hmm. you're talking about 
Mew, right? Right. What? Mew? Yeah, not you, babe. Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Uh huh. She was oh, seen yeah. by Golta. Suck it, nerds. Where weren't you? Wait Where a you seen by Golta? Where does she have an alibi? Hmm. If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kirami was lecturing me. Something odd. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. So that was me! A girl walking around half-naked? But why? Who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. Oh my god! We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? Um, that could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me! I don't think you would. That'd be a whole different issue. Right, that would be a whole oh, other case. It's Mew. Without a doubt, mm -hmm. you and Gonta's statements prove it. Her woman weapon. Uh huh. Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta know could bring her. Your face got hot. You mean you were hot on her trail, right? No, she used her what she call it secret woman weapon, and then yeah, uh huh. And then she said the same thing, saying the woman weapon, and then just leave it at that. Uh huh. So why were you out here running naked? It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? Why was she running around ass out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why the heck you your underwear, Mew? Right. Oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so. Girl. <laughs> I might figure I'd take my clothes off, so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. Oh, really? <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches. So what's the what's the real reason? What's the real reason? Oh. Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. Oh my God. Mew was in her underwear, and Gonta got a weird feeling. <laughs> he felt something rise. <laughs> oh well, my goodness. when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. Really? I show my panties to the boys all the time. Do you really? And I mean all the time. Okay, are you saying you're a ho like? Are you saying you're a ho mute? Like I don't know. Like what is what? So you're why? Welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Most of that was unintelligible <laughs> nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. So was she just run, yeah, running around naked while, just because? But at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. Hmm. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. I feel like that's talking to me. So, okay. So, oh, okay. So we got that. We got that. that. It's a new clue. Kaito and, and Maki. Maki. As the only ones with no alibis. Hmm. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh my god. It's the culprit by its tongue. Oh, hold up! <laughs> Don't decide just yet! Hmm. Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki, but something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. I want to believe Kaito until he's proven guilty. I will trust him. Don't make this be another situation like Kaede, like where we were right next to her the whole time and she ended up being a killer, and now we're next to Kaito for a, an amount of time that he ends up being a killer. I don't think that he is. I don't think that he is. I'm still looking at Maki and Kur Kurumi since I'm saying it wrong this whole time. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w mm. No, we should do something more fun. Oh? And I have the perfect idea. What? What? We narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Hmm. Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. Hmm. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. And hmm. what is this effective method? Right. If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? I, because yes. if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. That's true. You know what? Okay, and this brings us back to Among Us. Like, this game is pretty much like Among Us, right? Let's talk. So, when we're in Among Us, and we play, like you see my group play, there's a thing that they call or the group calls a 50-50, right? So like, basically, when you say one person, say me, say I find a body, or no, let me let me rephrase it. Say, say when I see someone kill someone, right? And it's just us two, me and the killer on top of the body. I'm saying it's the killer, the killer is saying it's me, okay, to reflect it back onto us. That is when the group will just vote out me first, right? 
and then go hit the button next round to vote out the other person that was being accused and we were going back and forth. So that, that way we get one killer out for sure because one of us saw the killer do something. So that's what we call a 50-50. So I see they're using the same thing here in the game. So I see. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. Mm -hmm. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Oh. Huh. Work harder? <laughs> Have the two argue for their innocence. Uh -huh. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Okay. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? They sure would. They sure would. And... Huh? How would you know who's you lying or not? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork. But you're all afraid. Oh. You're too scared to point your fingers at others. So you hide behind the word trust. Hmm. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If True. you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Oh. Only then well, you will they would reveal know. their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of disease. And you would know, wouldn't you? You ultimate liar, you would know. Huh. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. Mm. No more pointless deductions. I like how he said it, All though. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. Hmm. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring but super fun. Look he has a point, Loki. He does. When we find a contradiction, hmm. we'll scare the culprit until they screw up. <laughs> that's how a true class trial works. Hmm. Right, Monokuma? Oh, don't you, don't you side with him. A development like that would liven things up a bit. Don't work with him. Yep, I totes agree. Oh my God. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Right. Just whose side are you on? Not ours. I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot debate to smoke out the lies. Hmm. And how do you expect us to start this? Right. If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Oh, really? Our oh. first topic is oh. this. Are we finally gonna see people's motives? Are we gonna see people's motives now? Cubs pad. Uh oh. Not just any Cubs pad, but oh. the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. Oh. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. Oh, we're gonna get some uh so some information now. So he took the video from his room. Hmm. It was you. Well, he was gathering all and of them. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... He's watched it because already. Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. One of these two had it. Hmm. Oh, Kaito, you look a little... Oh, Maki, and both y'all looking nervous. That out, we need to know who this Moda video belongs to. Hmm. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? Ooh, who is it? The motive video that Ryoma had was it Kaito's or Maki's? I should know the answer. The mo How am I supposed to know? Um. Hmm. What if it's neither? Could it be neither? I never. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Got oh, you. No. Got you. Got you. Jesus. Okay. Wait. Wait. So I had. I had Kaito. So it had to be Maki then, right? That's it. Yeah, because I had Kaito's. So then it was Maki. It was Maki's motive video, right? Hmm. Oh, how did you ever guess? Because I have Kaito. Ooh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Right. Process of elimination wins again. Hmm. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Yep. Is that true, Shuichi? I do have yours, yes. Yes, You're yes right. I do. Mm -hmm. What about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. Hmm. <laughs> Finally, you said something! He just wanted to get her talking. This is how a debate should be. I only hmm. brought up the motive video to make you talk. Yep, he wanted to get her talking. Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Oh? Why can't we watch the video, not though? The culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Hmm. Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Um, Wait just a minute. W what are you trying to do? Quit screwing He's trying around. To get some drama we don't need stirred. to debate who's a culprit. Right. I'm not the culprit. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Which means... Kaito, oh. wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... He just Maki wants to start shit. isn't the culprit either. 
Oh. Huh? Oh. What? Oh. Oh, let's hear huh? stuff. Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? This is why I said neither. Come on. Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know hmm. is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. Hmm. It's just a hunch I've got. Because I'm trying to think, why would Maki kill Ryoma? I don't think she has any reason to. She's barely been in this episode. So I don't know. Uh, a hunch? Hmm. Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? Yeah. And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Yeah. Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. Mm -hmm. This is an official hunch. Oh from my the gosh. Kaito Luminary, Momota, of the stars. Luminary of the stars. Oh my goodness. What? Right, we don't, don't pay attention to it. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. <laughs> yeah. They're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? Oh. No, he might actually be that stupid. Well, she doesn't like men. So, I mean, idiot. She doesn't like I men, so we knew idiot. that. No, Angie. <laughs> hey, don't call me an idiot. Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. Mm. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. Okay, guys. You believe in her? But based on what? True, because like we have huh? not seen her. I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point, mm. in the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether yes. I believe or not, whether I want to believe or not. True. That's the only thing that matters. Okay. So you do not have any evidence. Right. He's just saying this with no I mean, evidence. He's not going to convince anybody. So. But I totally get where he's coming from, because mm -hmm. I want to believe in Himiko too. That's true. Because if she said that we can't go based off of just believing, then she would have been a hypocrite. So okay. Yeah. Want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand Wanting that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. Mm. However, it is it a could sentiment lead to our that death. has no place in a class trial. Mm -hmm. He's an idiot after all. <laughs> oh, Himiko. It's okay to be idiot, as oh. long as you believe in people. Oh, Gonta. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot. It really hurts my feelings. I'm sorry, Kaisa, that you treat me like this. I'm so sorry. It's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings get into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? He did say that before. Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end. But if I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Yep, he did say this before. Kaito's a man of his word. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings too. Yeah, it'll work out in the end, so. I believe in Maki as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, That's not Kaito, right? Making us think with our hearts. Mm-hmm. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? A hunch. But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaito to this crime either. Right, Maki has been in, in her room the whole time. Guilty. For now, they are innocent. Thank you. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. <laughs> uh, so by the funny. way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. Mm -hmm. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, I'm not a real detective. I mean, same thing with Kaito. Like, Kaito is an astronaut in training, but he keeps calling himself the luminary of the stars. So, I mean, that's why he's calling you a detective. <laughs> oh. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Asking Unless you more have questions. evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Oh. Huh? Oh. It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. Oh, she called him an idiot again. <laughs> idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Oh my god. Seriously, goodness. enough's enough. Stop calling me an idiot. They keep abusing this man. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Maki? Mm. I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. Oh? So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell, Tell us, us what? what? Right. I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. Oh, did you? Did you? What? At nighttime? When? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? Right. I thought the crime took place between eight and ten o'clock at night. Okay, so now, now we, now we start back at square one. Now we start back at square one. Because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. This would have been great to know in the beginning of the trial, Maki. Jesus, good lord. If that's true. Then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. Great. That's great. right. Everyone suspected them. 
because they no have alibis for those times. That would have been great to know. That would have been around. great to know. You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Oh, oh my yes. lord. This seems too convenient. Hmm. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's totally obvious. Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. I don't think she's lying. She wouldn't have spoke up. Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? Hmm. It's true. We don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all times? Huh. If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Oh, what? Oh, okay, this is the intermission, all right. All right, class trial resume. Let's get back into this, okay? Because we need to see what Maki is talking about. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. Hmm. She's just gonna throw out more lies. I don't think she's lying, though. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? True. I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh, you hate liars, huh? Well, look in the mirror, bitch. Like, what the fuck? What? What? What is he talking about? You're one to talk. Thank you. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. Thank you. We can listen. It must have been a little after midnight last night. Hmm. He visited me at my research lab. Oh, he you let him in? show him the motive video that I received. Hmm. Motive video? Oh. If Oyoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had you his had motive his video? You had his motive, too. As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does yes. this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? And if that's the case, did everybody else receive like the corresponding people's stuff? So like, if I got Kaito's, did Kaito's get, did Kaito get mine? And is that why he believes in me so much? I don't know. Maybe. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Mm. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Right. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If mm. he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. Mm. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? He didn't ask me. Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pet? Hmm. Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have to be someone who knew who had each pad. So, Kokichi, right? Kokichi, right? Would it be you? It's you. Yeah, right, you the one that collected everybody. So, thank you. That would be Kokichi. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, cause pad, gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belong to people who aren't here. Right, now everyone can watch their motive video because you don't want to collect everything. Now start so talking. you saw the motive videos. Hmm. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? Hmm. Oh? When males get Oh, now you're quiet. Them, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. That's what happened true. then, Maki? Sometimes. After Ryoma <laughs> asked you for his motive video. Mm -hmm. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. But you want to let us in there. Well, oh, Maki, that's super careless. Hmm. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? I'm pretty sure she could fight them all. I'm pretty sure she could happened? fight them all. I don't know. I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. Hmm. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. Man, Maki wants no part of any of this. She don't want no part of the investigation. She don't want no part of the class trial. She don't want no part of the killing game. She don't want no part in nothing, okay? <laughs> it's just so funny. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. She doesn't care. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Mm -hmm. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. Thank you. If that story is true. Yes. It's true. Hmm. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? Because she doesn't want any part. I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Oh. Suspected? What for? What do you mean, Give what me for? It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. Hmm. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You right. didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? I'm telling you, she don't care, man. She does not care. She just wants to make sure that we choose the right person and get out. That's it. It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. She don't care. Well, she don't care about that. Whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 
Those who believe shall be saved. Angie, oh my god. <laughs> no, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well oh. then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Right, because he hasn't said anything. Huh? What now? Yeah, let's never talk to answered you. My question. Right. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Thank you. Stay on him. Is that really important? Yes, it is. Yes, it is important. Hmm. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. Mm -hmm. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. But he's a liar, so who knows if he's going to say the truth or not. We don't know. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Mm-hmm. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? Did you? See, now he's not going to say earlier. nothing. Look. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Oh. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. You better answer the question. Okay, it's true. Thank you. I told Ryoma. Thank you. Just as I thought. Gee. That's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have okay, that's not a bad thing that you told video? him. Hmm. No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. And that's why we're invited to the second meeting. I just checked who had who's so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. Right. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. And mm -hmm. that removes suspicion. We cannot be too sure about that yet. Oh. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet. It does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. What do you mean? So you still suspect me? Hmm. I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is hmm. still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Hmm. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Very true, very true. We then need to be correct. Which is it? A lie or not lie? Hmm. She's not lying. Can't you tell just by looking at her? I mean, you can't, that easy really. <laughs> No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. This is why we're having this trial. Himiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. Girl, <laughs> oh I my find goodness. Maki's testimony suspicious. Mm. It's far too convenient for her. Mm. This is difficult to determine. Yes, it is. Maki is I'm lying. just trying to figure it like out. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. Mm? I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during night. I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth. Like, I don't think that she's lying. Look at her face. I don't know. I feel like she's not. She's giving me the vibes of like, I'm being totally dead serious. And if you guys want to not believe me, then you're all gonna die, basically. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Hmm. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I, I said I would believe in Kaito, and that means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need all of us on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. Oh, so am I gonna lie now? Am I gonna lie? Is that it? Hmm. Maki was alone. Met with Ryoma the previous night. Hmm. What a load of crap! Hmm. Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Mm -hmm. Did anyone see those two together? Mm. Surely they would have come forward already. If huh. no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. Mm. As expected, Maki is lying to us. Mm. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! Mm. I'm trying to think. I can't say the two of them met now. That's too obvious a lie. So if I can convince them that Maki met up with someone, let's get forward. There we go. Oh, let's hold it. There we go. Shoot that. There we go. Yep, I may have to lie. I may have to lie. Hmm. I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Mm-hmm. Oh, please explain. Well, huh. Kaito and I train together every night. Yep. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Oh. Huh? Uh -huh. Kaito's like, wait a minute, no, we didn't. <laughs> He's like, don't put me in his line. Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say He's like, anything. Just shut up. Just shut anyway, up, Kaito. <laughs> we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. Hmm. When we heard two people talking. Hmm. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki. 
but we couldn't pick out the other one. Uh huh. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. Mm, what? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. He's like, yeah. That was probably around midnight. Yep, just go with it, Kaito. Just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> if you heard their voices, then that means that she's innocent. So Yoma and Maki did meet up. Hmm. No, no, hold up. Why'd you sit on that info for so long? I mean, same reason because Maki did. until just I mean, now, I didn't think it was relevant. Right. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now, mm -hmm. we don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is um, true. That's true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. Mm, but you good liar, the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. Hmm. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? Mm -hmm. So it must have been him. That's good. Nobody say you That's suddenly good. remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. <laughs> He's like, look, don't y'all try to refute this lie. <laughs> Miyuki did not <laughs> confirm who Maki was talking to at the time. Hmm. If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. Oh, really? Not still part of a killing game after all. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Right. Why the scary face? Uh-huh. That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? There you go, Kaizo, back it up. So back up that lie. <laughs> anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Mm-hmm. Then Gonta will believe friends. Oh, Gonta. Oh, my goodness. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi hey. has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, mm -hmm. he will join us in eternal sleep. He will. Unless he wishes for death, <laughs> he should be able to believe him. <laughs> Unless he want to die, then, you know, That's whatever. Right. You can believe me. Mm. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him, too. Hmm. The leaf shall set you free. <laughs> I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. Oh, well. We wouldn't be able I to am. trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. Oh, he oh, he knows. He knows that he's lying. He knows that he's lying. Oh, Shuichi, right, he's on you. That here. proves it then. He's Ryoma on you. Yoma was still alive during nighttime. The liar knows. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Hmm. But I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? I, I guess so. so. Everyone is culprit again? Yep. So, we're right back where we started. What a pain. Mm. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime night began. Time. Yep. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Huh. Well, the gym is locked at nighttime, so it must have been the next morning, but... That's mm. not possible. Kimiko and I were at the gym, remember? Right. So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? Wait, did we? Because I thought that was a good thing. I don't think so. We have evidence to prove okay. that's what happened. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Was I wrong? Hey, when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? Hmm. When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime. And if it couldn't have been the morning after, the only that time means, they could have done it was during it was nighttime. During nighttime, huh? right? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? <laughs> Dick, Dick Cheese sounds so terrible. Oh my but god! That's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. Right. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. Hmm. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. Aren't you? Aren't you? You just waste time in these past trials. You do! Like, come time on! For a guard. Are you come on! that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Hmm. Kimiko would have seen it! She might strike out, but she always keeps her <laughs> eye on the ball! You don't even play baseball. You don't get the joke, baby. It's but okay. we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go mm. to sure if we discuss disagreement. Yes, y'all listen to your arguments. Oh? Disagreement? Oh? What? A disagreement? Oh, Lord. You mean split down the middle again? We gotta do that thing with, like, both the sides. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground. Great, now we gotta do the whole courtroom split again. For this. Great. Jeez. 
We gotta do that whole crazy thing again. I know, Kaito, like, why? Like, why? It seems like our opinions are split on this matter, but if we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. All I have to do is show them and make them accept it. If I can't get them to see the truth now, my lie would have been for nothing. I won't fail. All right, let's do this again, y'all. Cause last time I did not understand it at first, but hopefully I do better this time. So go ahead, transform it, bear. There you go. Transform the whole court. This is low-key cool, though. <laughs> that is low-key cool how they're doing this. Hmm. All right, when was the body put in the piranha tank? Okay. The morning, during the night time. Okay, let's go. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Hmm. Let's see the huh. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Missed? Oh, you missed? We were right in front of the door. Hmm. There's no way we could have missed them. Right. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Oh, Kaito. wait, wait. There rules we go. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. Yeah. The piranha yeah. tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I got this. You might be able to there reach the tank from the window above the stage. Uh huh. But pool next to gym also off limits. Mm -hmm. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. Right. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Testimony, there we it's go. Okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. Uh huh. I missed the first one, so I gotta Did probably. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Huh. When well, we aren't consistent, our position looks weak. We need to work together. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Did the culprit okay. move the body just before the morning announcement? Okay, got that I'll announcement. Be in of the gym with the others uh -huh. before the announcement. Got that. Okay. Is it not possible? Uh -uh. Simply, nope, we didn't miss it. Right in front of the door. There's mm -hmm. no way we could have missed them. There we go. I just got a magic Remember, word. the rules state that you can't enter the okay. gym at night. Cut there we go. The rules. rules probably got that. don't apply to corpses, you know. Mm-hmm. The piranha tank is too far. I got this. Uh huh. The you tank. might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. That's all I gotta do is just match up the words. That's the pool it. Next to gym. Mm -hmm. Just match Entering up the, the words. Pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. Mm hmm. But should we trust Kenko? There we it's go. It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. Cool. All right. Oh, ooh, I forgot about this part. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Get off me! <laughs> you say it like I'm really battling them. <laughs> it's true that you cannot enter the gym at nighttime, but a corpse could. And remember what Monokuma said? He was like, nobody alive was in the gym. Meaning that the body was already dead. Because Monokuma said that his own mouth. He kind of gave us a clue a little bit. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. See? See, look, look. Now my, now my idea doesn't seem so far-fetched when I first said it. When I first said that they could have just pushed, you know, pushed the body across with the, with the handcuffs, I think. That huh. window is higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close by. Mm -hmm. the curtains might have been closed, but the window was open. The whole investigation. Right. They could have just slid his that ass across. It was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. Mm -hmm. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. Mm -hmm. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Hmm. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window, <laughs> the window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. But there's the a window. Is small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. But see, there's a window there. There's there's Ryoma's window from his prison shower. And that could have slid down, slid him down, right? Into it. Because it's higher up. You see the window right there. You see the window. He could slide down there with that wire from the tennis thing. I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> if I turn yes, out to be wrong, Gonta I'm just so mad. Do that. Gentlemen, not shocked dead body. If I turn out to be wrong about this, like how it was with Ryoma, I'm gonna be so upset, yo. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. It's not high enough. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. Mm. That ladder reached the window, right? So 
because the culprit mm. just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off. Right? Well, not that it's not tall enough, but it was already in the gym, so they couldn't do that. It was already in there. No, I don't think that method is possible because the ladder... Oh, wait. The ladder doesn't reach the window, right? Right? That's what I said first. That's it. Yeah, right. Okay, so I was right. And it was in the gym, so... The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. Mm -hmm. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. Right, right. I don't know why I second guessed myself. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. Mm-hmm. And there is nothing yep. on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Mm-hmm, so there's no way that you could reach up there. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? Right, like I said, it if was already in the gym. If the the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. Mm-hmm. You couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. And too loud. So Gonta used his hard strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. <laughs> Why do you keep thinking Gentlemen Gonta? Gentlemen not throw dead bodies or ladders. That's right, Gonta. We know The body not could you. not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. Mm-hmm. It could it have been slid across. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. Musclehead, even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Oh, don't come for Gonta, because he can squish you easily. Sorry, you're right. Don't do that, Gonta. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. Right. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Hmm. <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Oh, and you do? Do you have the answer then? Right, do you know? But of course. So Tell how was it done? Luigi, blow them all away with the truth. You gotta use the sidekick, which uh, is me, right? I, uh, <laughs> actually don't know that yet. He's like, I don't know. What? <laughs> I do not know, okay. The culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. I think it was the wire and the handcuffs. I don't Seriously? know. Serves you right. Hmm. You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty. Girl, don't make that face. These just amazing. need to shut up and take their licks. Oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out or we're done for. Hmm. Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi. You gonna do something? I know. Jeez. I have to do something, but... I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. Hmm. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I? Am I no good as a detective? I can't do this. I can't. I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. Hmm. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. Hmm. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. True. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Hmm. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. True, we have killed? not figured that out yet. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yeah. Yes, that's it. Hmm. We were so caught up in where the body was found, when we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. Right. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Hmm. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Hmm. Then, culprit is someone in this room. Duh. That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage the well, trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. Hmm. That's not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was... What, your magic? When Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the pool. What are you talking about? Is Nicola under the bridge? What are we talking about here? If we can determine where this all started, we can determine how it ended. Yes, it's too much, it's much too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Thank you, Maki. Hmm. That was a helpful insight. Right, it was. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. Okay, you ain't got to throw no shots, Maki. Damn. Sheesh. She, like, I, ju I just complimented her and thanked her, and then she got to like, return with an insult. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> huh. Ooh, First, the black piece of fabric. The crime scene. Hmm. Wasn't it the dorm room? Hmm. Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. Mm hmm But the cause of death was drowning. It sure was. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. Hmm. He's got a the toilet, sink? doesn't he? He got a sink, don't he? Around in toilets? Impossible. Don't he have a sink? We should consider places where water is stored. Huh. The only place that fits is the pool. Hmm. Even if you use magic, there's no other way. Hmm. Well, it must be the pool then. 
Now that little turd drowned in the toilet. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you noisy Ew, sow. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> the cause of death is a certainty. Ryoma drowned in water. The pool seems like the obvious answer, but I have my doubts. Uh uh. Let's get past that. That one. That one. That right there. That right there. There we go. Got it. Got it. All right, I knew. No, I didn't. I. I <laughs> At first, I thought it was a black piece of clothing, but it's the not that. The pool so. could not have been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at nighttime. Mm -hmm. No swimming is allowed at nighttime. Right. So a living person could not have gone in. He had to be already dead. A dead body is fine because it's mm. just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, then the I think I might off. cry. Mm. Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can oh in the my morning God. after. I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly leave. Aren't y'all supposed to be siblings? Like, what the hell? Oh, Ew. After you leave, do I realize how much you really mean to me? Y'all supposed to be siblings! Yeah. Oh, I'm so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. Why are we talking about sports? Why? Anyway, we can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Right. Where was Ryoma killed, if not pool? The sake is there room. other place where water can be stored? Yes. Where was Ryoma killed? I know there's some kind of clue. Yes, there is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think it's that sink. Oh, wait. The scratch sink? Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. This is it. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So he may have been killed in the sink, like the I said. Sink in Ryoma's lab. Okay. Why am I there happy about that? There distinct scratch marks on it. Mm-hmm. Scratch like there was a struggle. Uh-huh. And I believe those scratches were caused by the handcuffs. The handcuffs. Right? This is it. Yes, see, look, I'm putting it together. The scratched handcuffs, the right? Handcuffs. Uh-huh. They were scratched as well, correct? Yes, they were. Oh yeah. Sort of look like they've been scraped against something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lap. Right. The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. Mm -hmm. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. So I had, I was on to something. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Mm. Because Ryoma was wearing them, right? Right. Yes. Though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. Mm -hmm. And then he got eaten up. He got eaten up, and then it was gone. Hmm. I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The hmm. handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. Right. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. And that's what I said earlier. See, look, I'd be on. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Can we not think about that? Same disgusting thing. Right. I don't want to hear it. Thank you, Senko. That crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. I'm sorry, are you Venom? Like, like can you can you not? Stop! Please stop! Jeez. But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? Hmm. He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? Hmm. It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. Maybe. <laughs> So there's no way we can be sure now that he's not but bone. See, that's what I said before, man. He got killed. Like when he got killed, I was like, the evidence we would not be able to see because his body got eaten up. Like as soon as we saw him in there. So we couldn't see any like marks or anything on him. So the killer was the killer is a professional. Okay, the killer is a professional. Alright? I knew it. I knew to pay attention to that evidence. I knew. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty mm. sure the culprit got Ryoma by. Hmm. Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to little me. I'm just talking to myself. If you have useful information, just freaking say it. Just say it. Talk just say to it. yourself. Pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Uh. Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. What are you talking about? So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink about? in his lap, right? Mm -hmm. That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. It looks deep enough and he's small enough, so he could fit in there. All right, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. Yep, she might what be right. How did the culprits carry his body to the gym from there? I 
think he pushed it through the window. I think she did. Is that Rioma's lab on the third floor of the academy? Yes. It's actually not far at all. Hmm. Although perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Mm-hmm. Was there a shortcut? Yes, the window. The window. What shortcut between Rioma's lab and the gym is appropriate? Hmm. The damn window. That right there. That right there. Uh-huh. There. Uh-huh. I'm on it. I'm on it now. I'm on it. <laughs> the shortcut is the window in Rioma's lap. Mm -hmm. The window? Yeah. That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except for that one. Except the one in Rioma's lap. Uh -huh. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could mm -hmm. see the gym straight across. You sure could. You sure could. I think the culprit dropped Rioma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Mm. Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. Mm. How's that? Mission complete! Your mm. explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. True. That's right! I apologize! I must <laughs> go on a journey to reflect on this! It's okay, because even I messed up in the beginning that way. <laughs> we keep hitting dead ends, since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. Mm. <laughs> Well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. Do you know some info, Kikichi? Oh, Maki? Not necessarily. We learned a lot of information. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime was real lab, the case is becoming clearer. To determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found, I have to figure out how to get from the third floor window to the gym. All right, then. I have to analyze possible methods and find the most likely. Hmm. We oh, what the heck? We racing now? Psyche taxi? Psych taxi? I don't know how to pronounce that. Whatever. When you have to deduce how things are connected, psych taxi will start up. The objective of this mode is to gather the letter cubes lying around to form the question. What? Use the X button to accelerate and then that to move left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you've completed the question, you head toward the escort that has the correct answer. If it's the right answer, then you'll get in the car. If it's the wrong answer, then something bad happens. Also, there will be other cars on the road. Good lord. Now we got driving in here? Like, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Let's go ahead and go. We racing now. Since we racing, let's go. Okay, so what is that? A? Okay. Whoa. What is that? Let's see. Let's go there. Okay. Let's hit that. Okay, let's just hit the cube. Let's just see what they get. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Okay. The body. The body was. Was. Brought, the body was brought from where? Okay. The body was. Woo! Okay, the body was brought from where? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Thank you, Ty. Okay, it's driving automatically. Okay, cool. Okay. The body was brought from where? The lab window? The lab window, right? Right? Hey! We hit a hooker! <laughs> we hit a hooker! Okay, next question. Oh, this is kind of exciting, y'all. Okay. Okay, let's just get all the cubes that we can. Let's just get all the cubes so that we can figure out what the question is. I kind of like this. And they get to stay in the car. Do y'all see that? They stay in the car with me. Okay, bam, bam. There we go. We going 208 miles an hour. Good thing the police are not here. They'll pull me over so fast. Okay. Why am I seeing Angie on the side? Why am I seeing Angie? Hold on. Why am I seeing pictures of Angie? Oh! Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, the body, the body was brought to the gym from where? Okay, the body was brought to the gym, brought to the gym from where? Okay, okay. All right, thinking time. All right, all right, all right. Was brought from the gym door or the gym window? The gym window. The gym window. It has to be. Right? Hey! Got two hookers. Let's go. Are they hookers? Because they did say escorts. So I don't know. Okay. I don't see any other cars, though. So when are we going to see other cars? I have no idea. When are we going to see other cars on the road? Oh, is that a car right there? Is that a car right there that I'm seeing? 
Yup, yup, it sure is. Okay, let me stay in my lane. Stay in my lane, Jazz. Stay in my lane. There we go. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good driving. I don't know. I feel good about this. Okay. All right. Let's get over here. Nice and safe. Let me just get all the letter boxes that I can. Oh! Oh, I'm not hitting that one. No, no, no. No, we're not. No, we're not. Bam. Let's see. Okay. Okay, we almost got the full question. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, that one. There we go. There we go. Okay, there's something right there. I should run his ass over. I should. I should have ran Monokuma over for some extra points, maybe. Okay. <laughs> How was it moved from the classroom window to the gym window? With the freaking cable. That's what I think. I think it was a cable from the tennis thing. I think. Or else I'm wrong. From window to window. From window to window, right? From window to window. That's it! Yes! There we go! There we go! We got it! We got it! I man, don't tell me that I called this. Don't I've tell me that it. I called this. The yellow's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Mm -hmm. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. They didn't throw it, they slid it across. They slid I mean, it we're across. Talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. They slid it across with his handcuffs, maybe. That's what no. I think. I don't believe he was thrown, mm. but perhaps another way. Mm -hmm. What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. Yes, there the is. must have used some kind of equipment. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I, I know I skipped past it, but like I just saw Kirami looking a little weird. Like she was like looking like this, like just now. So it's her, y'all. It's her. It's her. It gotta be Kirami. Look at her. Look at her. Why is she looking so weird right now? With huh? this equipment. They can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Yep. Equipment to connect the windows. I believe it was near the body. Oh, the rope? The rope? There. Oh, well, I'm thinking about something else. Maybe it's not the tennis cable. The I don't rope know. found the behind rope. the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope. Yeah. That <laughs> really cool uh huh. What mysterious mystery? Hmm. During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But she didn't put it there. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. Oh. It's a mysterious mystery. Hmm. Only Atua knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? Carry me over there looking kind of suspicious. I don't they know. They did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. Mm -hmm. Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? Yep, it sure was. Because Corey Keo. The said rope that. is roughly 65 feet in length. Yep. As for the distance between the windows, it's definitely enough. It's definitely enough. According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. Mm hmm. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Yes, Altogether, it is. the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. Mm -hmm. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> you know, kind of funny. Wait, wait. Who said that? Don't worry about it. Don't worry Even about it. Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Hmm. Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. Hmm. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. That's true. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Oh? Another rope. There was only one, though. Oh, so that, oh, does that bring us back to the wire that impossible. I said? Sorry. No, does it bring it back to, no, I'm sure there was another rope, or at least something that could be used as rope. Oh, yes, it was, it was a wire. It was a wire, it was a wire. Like I said, uh-huh, that thing. That thing this right there. The cable, whatever. The wire cable. Y'all know what I mean. The tennis net cable I'm on from it. I'm on it today. Serve as a rope. Uh huh. How long is it? Mm -hmm. About 50 feet, feet or so. But how do they use it? Hmm. Okay, so. Let's see. First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side. Hmm. And connect it. And tie cable to other window. Hmm. Hmm. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. Hmm. 
Yeah. That helped Culprit make one rope that reached both windows. See, this is what I was saying earlier. Like, they could do this. Wow, that's amazing, it's like Gonta. Some You're shit. Stung. It, it's oh. nothing. Gonta used oh. ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Oh, Gonta. Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. They could slide it over, can't they? I got it. Hmm. Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Mm -hmm. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration. Okay. You get it. Just tell us already. Okay, ain't that what we've been asking you, Himiko, about your damn magic? And you just kept saying it's magic and you wouldn't tell us already? Man, shut up. Oh, my God. They can cut the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other like Tarzan. Man, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I said they used the handcuff to slide his little ass around there. I said it, man. I said it. Ooh. Ooh, Mew, we here. We here, Mew. We here. Oh, my God. The body would reach the gym I said window, it. but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Oh, 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 he deserves to be on the list after that. He deserves, he deserves it. Hmm. Um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? Hmm. That is not feasible with just one rope. Mm. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Huh, not just the rope. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. Hmm. They wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. Huh? But is there really a way to do that? Uh, is Kokichi, there? Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Right. Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. Oh my god. You're confusing me. You were definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would have not been able to retrieve it. But they could press that button on the light thing because Kurumi, Kurumi, I keep saying it wrong. Kurumi knew how to operate the thing that went up and down. She knew. She was the only one that said how to do it. I think it's her ass. That's why I still think it's her. They would have only had one shot at it, no second chances. So obviously the couple would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully, meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? Huh. All that we know right now is that there was a rope that connected the window. Somehow the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. Hmm. To make that work, they would have to have used something else. But what would that be? What could they have done? All right, Shuichi. Huh. The stage is finally set. Wait, I'm trying to figure it out. What? Huh? Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. Look. It all starts <laughs> with you. I mean, Ko Kaito. Sheesh, there's so many Ks. <laughs> you be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. Oh. And then together, we're going to save everyone. Are we? Together? You right. got this. After all, you are my sidekick. Don't take, don't take credit for what I'm I figuring believe out, in Kaito. You. So I'm gonna leave the rest to you. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you do the work. Should we? <laughs> okay, I can do this. I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Think. Come on, think. Who was it? I don't know. Was it the two? Okay, Hangman's Gambit, Lord Jesus. Okay, um. Oh, I didn't see a T nowhere in there, what? Oh, oh, huh? So what would it be? It gotta be a, oh shoot, okay. Rope? Is it rope? What? Rope? Ropers? I don't know. Rope, rope, what? Rope? What? Rope? Rope? Oh shit. Okay, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what? A rope what? A rope what? A rope what? Rope? What? A rope what? Rope what? Rope what? 
broke what? Broke way? The fuck is that? I never even heard of that. I've never even heard of that. What is that? I was gonna say rope wall. Yes, is that on no? <laughs> the culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. Huh? A ropeway, huh? I thought it was the two. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Wow, you okay. got brain damage or something? I don't know, man, I don't know. You'd need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that. I thought that it was the handcuffs, but it might be that tube that we saw in the pool. I don't know. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. And scenes where you, oh my God, what is this now? In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind mind will begin. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer? At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use the L stick to move the cursor to erase the piece with the X button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color. Okay, so it's like a mini game. Okay, got it. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on top of an object are gone, you can select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. If there's just one piece left, you'll press the X button repeatedly to break it. But that will incur a time penalty, so don't just button mash. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play. They know this is complicated. I have to remember so many things. My God. Okay. Okay. White. Then. It's the tube, right? The tube is black. There we go. It's the tube. It's the tube. It's the two. Hold on. We got we got it. Oh wait, wait. Shoot. Can I get that? Can I get that? <laughs> I wanna get that. I wanna get that. It's the tube, right? Let's see. Ah oh, shoot. Ah oh, shoot. Okay, I think it's that thing, but like I don't know. Huh. I, I feel like I'm gonna lose this part because I am just over here selecting stuff away, okay? Hey, let me see, let me get you then. Can I get you? Oh, oh, I did it! I see it. Yes, I knew it was the two! Well, no, I said it was the handcuffs, but I switched it to the two. <laughs> it's the inner two. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. Mm -hmm. The inner tube? Uh-huh. We catching on to you, aren't we, Kirmi? Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a mm. rope? Yeah. Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. Ah. The culprit made a Carry rope body in there. the tube from the rope connecting the windows. Okay, okay, so what I was thinking of was way more savage. I thought... <laughs> I thought that it was like his handcuffs, like the little hole in the handcuffs, could slide his ass down and then he'll land in there. But no, it was it was him sitting in that. <laughs> oh my god! Like, I, I knew where I was going. I just didn't have the right object. <laughs> okay. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have mm -hmm. pushed the inner tube along. Right. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. Mm -hmm. It could have supported two people. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so the killer the slid with him. Oh my god. And the inner tube <laughs> to construct a rudimentary ropeway. Oh my and god. And used it to move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. I meant the, the killer was riding like he was a passenger. And he was dead. Oh my god, they are savage. Oh my god. Once through the gym window. The culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Oh my Either goodness. That, or the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. That would huh. be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Oh Finally, my goodness. They removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. My good gracious, this is a professional. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. Mm. But wow, a ropeway. I you say the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. Isn't that against school rules? No. It would count as entering the gym, would it not? <laughs> Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Oh? Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, is the who gray asked you area? last time? Right, I'm like, who asked you this to confirm? Huh? 
Somebody asked you. It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Right. They said, would it be okay if I did this? And y'all said yes. So that person did it. Who did it? Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. Yep, you talk too much. No, you put keep your talking. Your mouth? Is what? Monosuke just enhanced his jaw and swallowed his entire leg. Huh. Cut, cut it out. I can't write this off as a joke. Mm. And you two keep freaking out about it. Mm. <laughs> then your little slip up is actually the truth. Right. Someone asked you about it. Uh-huh. Your dad is mad at you. He gonna kill you next. Uh -oh. He gonna kill you next. Daddy's mad at you now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He gonna kill Don't you next. Me. This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time. Mm. Stop. Do not believe Monosuke. <laughs> no more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh, I'm out of damn. I want us all to get along. <laughs> Monodum's right. Right. Monosuke, you better thank Monodum. Less attitude and more gratitude. Got it. <laughs> Come on. The trial was just getting fun. Mm. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? What do you mean ruin it? We're trying to finish this. But I guess now we know Shuichi's what? logic is right on the money. Okay. So Culprit really used ropeway to move body? Mm-hmm. I thought yeah, so too, but the, I had the, the wrong instrument. Yeah, to move with the body from mm -hmm. window to window. Mm-hmm. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy-ass shit. Right, that's what I'm saying, you I'm like, this is a professional assassin. But <laughs> if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Mm. Not necessarily. Oh. Hmm, they can just All cut it. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Hmm. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could it. retrieve the rope from that side. Hmm. And then tie Tossing the rope, the rope in there. rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. Hmm. That's elaborate. Oh my god. I see, I see. The rope was thrown from the window. Hmm. That's why we found it there. Hmm. With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Hmm. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. So that we wouldn't see it. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, hmm. why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? Right. Oh, because they couldn't go in there. Accident. They couldn't go in there. It dropped in there. And they couldn't go retrieve an it. accident? Mm-hmm. Yes. When the culprit was taking down yep. the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Mm-hmm. And you can't set foot in the pool or you're dead. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? Hmm. The reason the culprit left it in the pool is obvious because it was nighttime. There we go. That's it. They couldn't go in the pool. Well, the siren would go Even off. if they wanted to get it, they couldn't mm -hmm. because this took place at nighttime. Right. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at nighttime. Mm -hmm. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Right, you can't reach it. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, mm -hmm. the it would break angle off. the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. Oh, so that means that they did try to get it. They did try to go get it, but because of the angle, it broke off, and that's why it was like a little piece of rope, like, attached to the inner tube in the pool, just sitting there. And the person was wearing black. Because there's a black piece of thing, and it's curing me, man. It gotta be. It's different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. Hmm. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. Hmm. I can see why they just left it there. Oh, wasn't you lazy ass? Jesus. Yeah, it would take too long. <laughs> and they would have been busted if someone saw them. Hmm. Huh, what kind of clumsy dipshit drops an inner tube and can't <laughs> retrieve it? I know. Let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur. I don't know. I think they're professional no, actually, the way they do this. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. Right. See, if Monkey had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. Hmm. No, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Oh, she is. She was lying. Personally, right, just shut up. I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Hmm. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even right? imagined there was a ropeway. Right? Oh, 
self-respect begins to bloom <laughs> in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. He's supposed to have a humanity orgasm. <laughs> what are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. <laughs> no, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close, we're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. Oh, I know who But it of is. course. It would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. Your ass. You're wearing black. Who is it? Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to start the main event. Oh? But my psychic here is on a roll right oh now. Oh my god. So I'll let him take this one. You just don't want to do any work, Kaito. You just don't want to do any work, okay? Just say it. Just say it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Hmm. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Yep. Well, Shuichi? Do you already know who the culprit is? Yes. Yes, I do. I have a good idea of who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, uh -huh. are you hesitating again? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm ready. I'm ready Come to on, get him. Come on, man. There's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. Mm -hmm. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. Okay. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. Oh, you okay. You believe in my detective skills? Right. That's right. I'm gonna leave it all to you, Shuichi. Hmm. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective. This whole setup would have had to been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that narrows the list of suspects. Uh-huh. It's not you, it's not you, it's your ass! It's you! It has to Isn't be you. It? Yes! I knew it was her! I, knew, I was gonna be There's so mad if I was wrong. one more thing I still have to confirm. Mm -hmm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Yes, she is. Me? Yes. What? Yes, you're a professional. Kirumi? You're a professional in everything you do. You're a professional when you cook, you're a professional when you clean, and I bet you're a professional when you kill, too. So I bet it's your ass. Uh-huh. Oh, so Kirumi is the culprit. Mm -hmm. That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Let's get it. Is this true, Kirumi? Hmm. I cannot believe you would suspect me. Oh, really? If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. Oh? I will not let you make the wrong choice. The oh, wrong really? choice? Is if it not you? you? believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? Yes? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right, then. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I, of Let's course, see. am not the culprit. Mm -hmm. The crime was committed at night time. Mm -hmm. And you have no alibi, do you? Right, give us an alibi. An alibi for night time? Mm. I believe most of us do not have one. Mm. Uh, I have evidence that proves you're the c culprit. Oh, do you? Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? Mm. The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. Mm -hmm. Someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Oh, it's she is. That could have been done by anyone. Huh. Kirumi no. is thin and has a nice body. <laughs> she and Ryama could have totally shared an inner tube. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. Hmm, Gonta's too big. To force Kirumi to implicate herself, my logic has to be airtight. There's a hole in her story somewhere. I just have to stay calm and find it. I'm pretty sure it's the alibi from yesterday. We already used the other two bullets. So, let me skip forward. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. Let's see. Hmm. I think it's that one. So let's get that. Let's hit. Let's hit that. And let's get that. Bam. There we go. Got it. I thought I was going to miss it again. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. The only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. Mm -hmm. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. And she was making the curtains too. That? Uh -huh. Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Mm -hmm. Like tying the rope to the gym window and mm -hmm. putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's mm -hmm. right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. And weren't you prepping the stage? It would only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. Uh -huh. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only like... Five minutes. <laughs> Not She's enough time so for the full murder, lazily. but enough time to set it up. Mm -hmm. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. Mm -hmm. This is my selfless devotion. Oh? Oh? Are we wrong about this? Or? Well, I do understand where you are coming from. I assure you, this is just 
A part of your petty imagination. Oh, really? An empty theory created from nihilism. Really? Okay, Miss Thing, let's get to it. And I liked you. I liked you, Kurumi. Kurumi, I've been saying it wrong, man. My God. Okay. If it were the black piece of fabric, right? You wear black. You wear black. I suppose it's five you. minutes might be enough time. You wear black. I accept that. However, hmm. the crux of your argument is not but a guess. Hmm. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! When you Shit. consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire hmm. case falls apart. Hmm. Nope. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. What do there you we mean go. by crux of the argument? Hmm. How is it just a guess? Right. You're wearing I black, aren't you? Hmm. Now, with that rope, mm -hmm. it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. Uh huh. But there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. <gasps> yeah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. I thought it was that. I thought it was that. I thought oh, it was no. that. Hold on. Sorry. I thought it was the black piece of fabric. I am My bad. To the rope. Okay. Now, okay. With that rope. Uh huh. It uh -huh. is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is uh -huh. no evidence to indicate this had happened. In other words, it is huh. just a guess. No. And then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. No. No. It is nothing more than deception. No, it's not. Uh-uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is a conclusion we reached, but it's not just a guess. Okay, okay. I am referring so to the So it's not road. that. Hmm. Now, with that rope. Hmm. It is possible to reach Let's the see. gym window from the third floor window. Is it the marked window frame? Window. But there is no evidence to indicate that. that? It okay. Oh, so it's oh, the marked window, window frame, works. not not the fabric. Okay, so it's not the fabric. It's the marked window frame. Got it. <laughs> I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym and the lab. I really thought it was the fabric. Were those scratches but it from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Mm -hmm. Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. Mm-hmm. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The right. frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Mm -hmm. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 we caught you now, What's huh? wrong, Kirumi? Right. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Ah. Hey, 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 hey! He's just being annoying now. Is Kirumi quiet because... Cause that's what happened. Seems like it. Seems like we caught our ass in, in a, uh, in a sure lie. Is doing this for yours? If it is for hmm. my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. Oh? But I cannot allow that. Because I must do this for everyone. Girl, you're prolonging the inevitable. For I everyone. A duty and a responsibility. Oh. I must serve everyone and protect them. Oh, really? So I refuse to surrender. Hmm. They won't forgive me if I do. Who's they? they? What? Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what does she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all of our sakes? Am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi. Hmm. Who exactly is this right. everyone you're talking about? Who is about? they? Who are you talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. Right. When you said everyone, felt like you weren't talking about us. Mm-hmm. Felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Right. That's what someone I'm trying to figure who isn't out. here? Hmm. Oh? Did Someone you slip outside up? of the academy? Hmm. Hey, do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? She may have. Huh? The motive video? Hmm. You saw your important someone in danger. So you committed murder, right? Hmm. Is that true? Maybe. Oh, I am it so might be. Sorry for making such a mess. Huh. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Oh? Unnecessary? What, like you being you the killer? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. Right, who is it? It is all of you, of course. Oh? Really? Do you swear, Tua Tua? Hmm. Yes, really. How so? so? please believe me. I am not the culprit. Really? I do not care what becomes of me. Hmm. But I will not allow any of you to die. Hmm. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished huh. for all of us to escape together. Mm. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. So did someone tell her to kill? And like, that's why she did it? To protect the person? Maybe? I don't know. I wish to serve everyone. Hmm. So please believe me. You have to. Oh, now she's crying, huh? Kirumi. Hmm. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Are we wrong? Maybe it's someone else. 
Huh. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? He could. He very much could be, too. <laughs> I don't know. How rude. Mm. Gonta just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. I don't want to believe that either, but I feel like it's best. her. She always treated us so well. Right. She really is like a mom. But I feel like it's because of that 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 is why she's the killer, because it's just so perfect, you know? Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. Hmm. You really are screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Hmm. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only huh. suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? Yes. But you and a lot of stuff. accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. No. It is still possible There's for still Maki a black and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. Oh? They could have pretended to help Hiniko, but secretly prepared the murder. Oh, really? You turned it on them. It does seem possible. It gotta be her, man. She's Kiburi turning it on them. On our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. What? Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. Mm. I made a promise. As mm -hmm. the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I right. made a promise to Kaede, so I'm not turning back now. Yo, is it Kirumi or not? Or not? Like, I don't know. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I have to use my detective work to prove it. So you still believe I am the culprit? Yes, heavily. But there is no evidence to indicate that I am. No, there Hold is. Hold on. I have proof that you're the culprit. That black piece of cloth. realized that you determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. Hmm. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the mm -hmm. final clue falls into place. Is it the piece of clothing that I've been the trying to point clue? out? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Right. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Because you're the only one that can pull this off. Don't you want only to protect one. everyone? I do. I'm doing this because I want to protect right. everyone. Shuichi. Hmm. Then you're wrong. Oh? Your deduction is all wrong. Look, Kurumi, I like you too, okay? Me and you have been here the whole game, okay? But it's you, baby girl. It gotta Your be. Your words it gotta aren't gonna be. convince me now. Not when I know the truth. Mm -hmm. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. Oh, what? You set everyone's life That's on what a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. I've been doing. I've been listening to everybody this whole game. I've been listening to everyone. Okay, get no. You can't say, don't say that. Anyone. Oh, oh. No more doubts. I'm confident. I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. All right, let's get that damn piece of clothing. I know it is. Hold on, it's that right there. This is it. That right there. Yes. There we go. Your time to shine, fabric. The piece your of time to shine. In the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. Right. Uh huh. You wear black, don't you? Yup. It's been bothering me for a while. Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh huh. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now Thank that the you. class trial has come this far, mm -hmm. I know for certain. It's your ass. Uh huh. It's an important piece of the puzzle because, mm. like the inner tube, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose yep, of. Yeah, you couldn't get in there and get it. Huh? Why not? Because you couldn't go in the pool. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. Mm -hmm. But how would you control it? If it mm. kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. Oh, I didn't even to think about that, that at all. Happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, hmm. the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Wouldn't that hurt, though? Yeah, so what? Oh, a piece of her glove? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Hmm. Kirumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? Right, she's becoming majorly defensive. <laughs> <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. I just love his laugh when he finds out something just <laughs> like the Windex bottle. <laughs> what? Truth. Hmm. That black cloth is just trash. Hmm? You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. Okay. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Finding out how that black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I'll make it all clear now. Oh, is this the, oh, the closing? Oh, wait, no, that. 
Oh. You are incorrect. Okay. Hold on. Wait, what? True. Why is this thing hold? That what? Is your empty deduction. Okay. You oh continue, shit. Okay. Confuse everyone. Okay. Oh my god. You I'm doing incorrect. terrible at this. What How the hell? It says hold. <laughs> oh, hold it there. Oh, got it. Okay. You can do it. Ah, confuse shit. everyone. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, you got it. Correct. Okay, hit that and then hold, right? Okay, I never had to do that before. Okay. Okay. Empty deduction. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Continue to there confuse we go. everyone. Okay, okay, got it. Bam, bam. <laughs> Okay, got her. In this class trial. Okay. Uh, uh. Everyone's life is at stake. Uh, uh, uh. Of your self-righteous truth. Uh, 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 uh. Everyone might die. Shit. Ah! Okay, there we go. Trial. Okay. Hold it. Everyone's uh. life is at stake. Shit. Ah, ah, ah. Of your self-righteous truth. Ah, 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 ah. Shit. Everyone might die. Oh! <laughs> In this class trial. Okay, bam. Okay, there we go. I completely understand your reason. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. But Shit. I will never accept. Okay, bam, bam, bam. It seems you wish to see me as the culprit. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You do not have any damn evidence. Damn it. Ah! You are only providing us with speculation. Bam, 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 bam. To protect everyone. Bam, 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 bam. Oh Why shit. Must you interfere. Bam, 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 bam. I completely understand your reasoning. Bam, 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 bam. But I will never accept it. Bam, 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 bam. Seems shit. You wish to pin me as the culprit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Shit. Okay, you what? Have any evidence. Please. You are got it. Providing us with speculation. Bam, 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 bam. Got it. Bam, 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 bam. Got it. Boom, 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 boom. I completely understand your reason. Okay. Ooh, ooh. But I will got never it. accept it. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, now I got it. Jesus Lord. <laughs> what does that piece of trash prove? Oh, the roomies gloves. There it we go. Here. There we go. <laughs> they it oh. Oh, that was a little inappropriate. <laughs> the piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kirumi's glove? Yep, we know it's you, girl. We know it's you. If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, hmm. there would have been a lot of friction. Right. Easily enough to cause rope burn. That's why I said, would it hurt? But she has gloves on, so I guess it didn't hurt her. But our culprit was smart. Hmm. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... Oh. And it fell into pool? Mm. From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi. Right. Well, in this game, yes, because there is someone else that does wear gloves. Kyoko, but she's not here, so. The gloves on your hands now. Mm. I take it they're from your dorm? Mm. The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. Yep. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. Oh, how about that? How about we do well, that? Kirumi, will Let's you compare. allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Right. Kumi, what's wrong? Yeah, she's the, she's the murderer. Okay, she doesn't want to be caught. In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth because it means that someone has to be sacrificed, but Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it and kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me. I won't let it, I won't I turn away from it. <laughs> All right, let's go, Sherlock Shuichi. Oh, the closing argument. Okay, let's do it. Okay. All right, so there's, okay, we see that. All right, the evidence made of metal the piranhas didn't eat. It was, hold on, hold on. Let's go to the, wait, what? How do I, how do I choose from the stock? Wait, no. Oh, that, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I didn't know the controls. Okay, got it now. All right, all right. Uh, the evidence made of metal that the piranhas didn't eat. It was, hold on, the handcuff, the handcuffs, right? Let me, let me skip that. Okay, what was used as a partition? Okay, it was definitely not that. Okay, it was the window panel, but 
It was not, it was not that one. Okay, the thin and long item the culprit took from the gym. Okay, they took from the gym the rope, right? There we go, okay. Got the rope, okay, we unlocked that one, okay. Where in the gym was the rope tied? The rope was tied, window, wait, the gym window, that, right? Okay, there we go, got that one, okay. And what was this? Before the murder, what was put on the wrist, the victim's wrist, which was the handcuffs. There we go. Handcuff the victim, got it, there we go. And then what was taken from the pool, it was, uh, no, the rubber inner tube. Uh-huh, got that one. Okay, what was used to transport the body on the roadway? It was, not that, okay. Wait, what? What was used to transport? Not that, wait a minute, let's get this. Okay, hitting the brakes was tougher than expected, so they used the friction on the glove. Bam, got that one. And then, this one, where is the body carried to? Let's see. The piranha, what, what? The piranha swimming in the tank, hold on, hold on, what? Okay, what was used to transport the body? Oh, wait, no, wait, the first one was that one, the metal cuffs, there we go. The metal cuffs there. What was used as a partition? It was definitely that. There we go. Got that. Okay. Now, this one has to be the other one, right? That, right? They hung the inner, yeah. That, right? Okay, there we go. That's what I was missing. I was missing that one, and then that one has to be that. So that's the only last one there. This is the truth there we go. of the case. Now we got it. We put it all together, Jazz. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. Mm-hmm. I called majority of this. I called 80% of this. Except for the inner when two. That's the, the thing that I didn't catch tank, on to. We thought that Himiko's escape failed. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. Mm-hmm. But when and Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranha swarming around him. Mm-hmm. Mm. Before any of and us then they react, ate up the evidence. The piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. Mm-hmm. And left a skeleton. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. Mm. Terrible. That we saw the execution. Was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. Mm-hmm. Look, look, look at Kirby's ass looking at him. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. Mm. Making it look like it was Himiko, but it wasn't. That would be too truth, obvious. Like, come on the now. The crime began last night around 8.55 p.m. Mm -hmm. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. Mm. Yep. It was they then that the culprit them. used the ladder to reach the piranha tank. Mm -hmm. And you put that window pane in there to separate And the glass lid them. to put inside the tank. Mm -hmm. Yep, push those they fishies over there. They used it as a there. partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, the latest killer has been two women. Next, that is crazy. The culprit <laughs> took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. Hmm. And used the mm -hmm. ladder once more, this time to climb up to the gym's window. See, I called 80% of this. I was mostly right. Some of it was a little far fetched. <laughs> but I was mostly right for this. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. Hmm. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. Mm -hmm. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. And of course it would be the maid that did it because she's perfect on everything. And she would have gotten the evidence too in the pool, but she couldn't because she couldn't go in there and show Past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. Hmm.
And poor Rioma. Oh. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. Hmm. And look, notice how they have her gloves too. Poor Rioma. He didn't First, deserve this. He wanted to Ryoma live. Out, probably striking him from behind. Hmm. Right after he said that he was ready to, ready to live. Then they put or the have a reason to that he got killed. That's on crazy. Rioma's wrists. Hmm. Hmm. And then drowned his ass. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. My God, just a savage, Kermy. Kermy shit. I keep From saying that. From the water and the pain of drowning. Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. Yeah, the that's where the scratches anticipated were. his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. Mm. My God. The struggle the left squares on the cuffs and sink. But in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Mm. And he was already dead. Ryoma and she was put dead. put the gloves right back on. The culprit's plan had only just begun. Mm. Mm -mm. Lord. They removed the key. Look at that. The this is premeditated murder. Hung it from the window facing the pool. This is premeditated murder, okay? And then at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They mm. returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. The two. Mm-hmm. Made a lot of trips, woman. The rubber Made a lot of trips. That was in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Look, making sure it's nice and sturdy. Look until at it. The rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And I like the rope. The gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. Mm. And then After you slid your ass of with, with the dead body. That's rope crazy. Tied to the inner tube, you slid hung the inner your tube ass the rope connecting with the, the windows. Mm. And made sure to do this when we were sleeping. That's how so the culprit created this. the ropeway that was used to move the body. Mm. An impressive premeditated murder. See? Premeditated. Two crucial mistakes. <laughs> the culprit got on the inner tube with Rioma's body and slid toward the gym. Shoot. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. Yep, that's to gravity. Avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a break. Hmm. This was her hand. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. Hmm. But a piece of that fell into the That pool. would have caused significant rope burn mm -hmm. had the culprit not been wearing gloves. Right. Hmm. But due to the a friction, damning piece of evidence. part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Hmm. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Rioma's body into the piranha tank. The glass Terrible. pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, uh -huh. but also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. I was right. I was half right, because at first I thought they were so packed that they couldn't eat them until After they fell that, in, but then all the, the window pane made me was switch. Untie the rope and the inner tube. Mm -hmm. But that's when they made their second mistake. Yep. Yep, couldn't get it back. You couldn't get it back. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Mm-hmm. Yep, you were upset. You couldn't get it. Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, mm -hmm. the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't mm -hmm. retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. Right. Mm. Mm. Karumi. How dare you? Jeez, did somebody set you up for this? Whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? Mmm. Damn, girl. Damn, girl. And I liked you. We were here, man. Goodness. Kirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. 
Do you have any objections? No. You can't. This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. Oh? My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. So did somebody tell you, like I said? To end like this. Oh. Does that mean you admit it? Hmm. Kirumi. Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. Hmm. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez. Hmm. Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. <laughs> but thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. Hmm. So, it's decided. Yep, it's her. I feel like I knew it from the beginning. Someone who shall not be named, open their big mouth. Yep. Uh, yeah, you that. said a little too Maybe much. the real culprit is someone nobody expects. Oh? Is right. No need to worry. What? What are you talking about? You're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. What? All right. Let's go. He's like, let's get the, the voting on, okay? Excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off. Hmm. It's voting yep. time. Yep. I wonder if somebody will vote differently, though. Like, I wonder if that ever will come. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and vote for her. I don't want to do it to you, baby girl, but it's you. It is you. Yes. We're going to miss your cooking. We are going to miss your cooking. Mm. Now then, it mm. seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Okay. Let's see. Is everyone going to vote her? Hmm. Oh! Who voted for me? Who voted for me? You bet. Nah. Who voted for me? Who did it? Who did it? Who will be chosen as the black? Oh. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? So who voted for me for kicks? Huh? Who did it? I'm gonna find out who it is. I'm gonna find out exactly who it is, man. This is why they put on anonymous votes on Among Us because of shit like this. <laughs> I want to know. Put a face to the vote. Put a face to the vote, man. Speak up. Say it with your chest. Man. All right, what I get on here? Oh, yeah, I got to be on that one because I did terrible. <laughs> okay, I'm still going to A. All right. Oh, my. You all voted correctly. What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome. The blackened who killed Ryoma Hoshi is Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Huh. Oh, man. Mm. Goodness. Phew, thank goodness we managed to get through the class trial. There's nothing good about this at all. Why? Why did it have to be Kurumi? Yeah. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait. How can you be so calm about it? No but Gonta no can believe it. Kurumi was so helpful for everyone. <laughs> Same Kurumi is also culprit? Yoo -hoo. Yeah. Hey, hey, how long have you been lying to us? The truth is. <laughs> is that why you took such a good care of us? So you could deceive everyone? <gasps> you mean she's not my mom? Hey. No. She was never your fucking mom. Hey, Kirami, tell me, why? You were always thinking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> Human beings have always been selfish, self-centered creatures. That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home. They pollute the rivers we drink from. Aren't you a stuffed bear? You don't go in the woods. You don't go. Well, I'll never forgive humans. No way. But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Enough with the commentary already. Say. Well, cure me. Were your feelings towards us simply another false? No. No, it can't be. Say it ain't so. That was just another lie, too. No. I don't think so. I still believe Kirby cares what? about us. And how would you know? Mm. I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for certain, hmm? That is what a detective um. would say. Kirby, are you upset because of the people important to you? Um. You mean like from the motive video? So Kirby watched hers after um. all? Earlier, Kirby mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from someone important in her motive video. Oh. To, did they tell her? Like I said, did they tell her to assassinate Ryoma? Because this was like a premeditated murder. Like she she was sitting on this, thinking about this kill and how she was going to do it, you know? What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? Agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you why I did it, you will regret what you've just done. Regret? Damn. Spit it out already. Otherwise, we can't accept this Please. outcome. Please, cure me. Tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you, too. So please. 
Understood. Very well then. If you are all so desperate I to know, I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. No. no more lies then. You better just tell us the truth. Please yes. and thank you. Yes, I understand. That is correct. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. As I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded you your motive video? <laughs> All right, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand. What are you, you saying? Hey, why would the one raising their hand need to close their Maybe. eyes? That won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. Huh? If you didn't trade with anyone, how'd you see your motive video? Hey. Perhaps Kirimi received her own motive video. Huh? huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the yes. start? Correct. No one had my motive video but me. The video's intended recipient. I have no idea the why. Fuck's going on? That's not impossible. Monokuma, what the hell's going on? <laughs> um, you know, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being switched. What does that mean exactly? And don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motor no, videos. No. no, I didn't. Uh -huh. huh? Uh oh, so y'all fucked up. So y'all, y'all the ones that we y'all are the reasons why we are all confused. Okay. You messed up, Mon Monophony. You messed up again. Look, oh, was I not supposed to ask that? Did you come screw up again? Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass. It's all Monophony's fault. She passed them out without checking the name. What? I didn't know. Monotaro should have checked the name too. Wait a minute. I didn't even remember passing out any videos. It was my fault. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. No. No, Mama Bear, it's not okay. your fault. It's all our fault. I'm sorry yeah. too. Ah, uh, it seems I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely yeah. forgot the plan all along was to redistribute the video. Daddy! Daddy. Hey, <laughs> it's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for Father. forgetting. Oh hey. my god. Thank goodness. <laughs> what the hell is this mushy feel good crap? <laughs> You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you dummy bears. Oh. Well, now. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. I see. I see. The Monocubs merely distributed the motive videos at random. Receiving my own video was nothing more than bad oh, luck. I so see. you just watched it without knowing why it was given right. to you? What was in your video? What's oh? wrong? Well, you promised to tell yes. us everything. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I doubt that everyone will believe it. So. Huh? If that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive video that's together? Right. Yes, that'll be much better. Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again. <laughs> How thorough of you, yet I suppose it is better this way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. After Kirimi had spoken, the Monokas began playing the video. What's on it? Huh. All right, back by popular hmm. demand, it's time for the motive video. So Who's what is the hers? most important person in your life? Huh. And now, without further ado, Kirumi hmm. Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients hmm. in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. Hmm. One fateful day, oh, she was suddenly so summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. Oh the my Prime God. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He hmm. requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. What, and be called soldier? He asked Kirumi to make this country great again. Oh, hell and no. And transferred all his authority to her. We, we, we are getting this man out of office, okay? We do not, we do not need to hear this, this statement again. We don't. We don't need to see it anywhere else, okay? No one suspected that the prime minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. Hmm. And over time, she became the de facto prime minister. Oh, Only wow. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Yes, hmm. the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But My Kirumi goodness. is up to the task for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She hmm. is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Oh, oh. and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate hmm. event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What? what event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. Is it <laughs> something that he's doing? I don't know. It can't be. What? what the hell? The Prime Minister. Everything you just saw is true. Though I only remember it upon watching that video. Remember? Wait. Please, hold on. That video Wait. is true? That's ridiculous. There's no way Kirimi's really the Prime Minister. Agree. No, it's the truth. 
I am Kirami Tojo, the ultimate maid and the most important people to this is my are the devotion. citizens of this country. Hmm. I wow. was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. Huh, I swore to serve and help all its citizens. As hmm. the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past, but hmm. he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As huh. a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. Is it... was it the... the tragedy? Was it the big tragedy? That she was defending against? What did I do? You're literally confusing the shit out of me because this makes no sense and I gotta take I a jump. See. I see. So Kirami was the real prime minister running the country behind huh? the scenes. How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be prime you minister? Really don't get I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent lets him pretend to be human, even though he's a heartless robot. How rude! How rude. I am not pretending. I'm still learning. <laughs> I see. I see. Well, good luck, I guess. Incredible. I was aware of Kirami's impressive talents, but prime what? minister? Then Kirami really is prime minister? She hold burden of country's Action. future? The motive video aside, Kirami doesn't seem she seem like she'd lie about something like that. Yahoo! Hey, hey, I get that Kirami is really important, but what about that unprecedented crisis? I do not know. I don't know, actually. Why can't I remember? Because your memory was wiped out. Your memory was wiped out. Everybody's memory was wiped out. Except for your talent. And that's why you don't know. And I bet it has something to do with Monokuma. I bet you. It does. Uh, um, with our memories lost. Uh, wait, isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? Correct. Perhaps it is connected to the ultimate uh -huh. hunt. The ultimate hunt is connected to the unprecedented crisis facing the nation? Um, if that's true, how are they connected? What is the ultimate hunt I anyway? I do not know. I do not know what is happening to the nation while I am here inside the end wall. That is why I needed to know. I needed to know what the most important people in my life This is my selfless devotion. Because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. My apologies. Hmm. That is why I needed if to escape. So. so you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in but. the nation. But if those are the options, of course you pick everyone else outside, right? There's just too many lives at stake out there. And we just stopped caring me from doing that because we selfishly wanted to live. Like what that. should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kirmi is Why? dead, doesn't that mean we pretty much destroyed the country? What do we do? Wait! Say, what's Monokuma's planning to do with the rest of humanity? You know how many people live in this country? Like a hundred million easily. No matter around. how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way they could really. Bears do, Bears not, do lie. not lie. Bears oh? do not lie. Oh, really? Hey, I'm, I'm the ruler of this world. Nothing is beyond my power huh? nothing is beyond your power what kind of arrogant 100%. ridiculous that is 100 a lie it is impossible that he could bring a disaster to a country <laughs> uh nah it, it's possible <laughs> he could bring it to the world in fact what are you trying to call? what's so funny Cause. you guys act like you can't believe it but you're all terrified Shing. anyway if you can't believe it then you're terrified for no reason <laughs> why do humans lie why are humans the only animal that tells lies <laughs> look look Hey, cut it out, this is serious. Oh, oh. How long are you gonna keep talking about Kiri? Yeah. Let's talk about Ryoma. It would be a shame to completely neglect him. Oh, I see. That's right, we know your motive to kill, but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? Yes. Because he was easy to kill. <laughs> easy to kill because he was small? Huh? Is it because he was suicidal? Huh? Is, it, is that it? <laughs> huh? Easy to kill. Weird. Ryoma not that weak. When he used his Shukichi method, even goes to no could catch. Agree. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to Do live. You agree? Without that, he became the weakest among huh? us. What? I took advantage of his weakness and killed um, him. What do you yes. mean? I told him I had urgent matters to discuss and to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. There, I revealed my motive video, and afterward, I told right. him, I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation, so I must escape this place. He then responded, oh? Got it. So you got a reason to survive. That's the complete opposite of me. <laughs> huh, that's You're... good. If you got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> <sighs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then oh, he and then turned he turned back toward me. Oh. At that moment, my determination solidified. Mm. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew he mm. forfeited his life right then and there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is correct. That is when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. Then, then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed. 
But wait a minute. If Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live what? anymore. What? Because Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since you didn't watch his motive video, I guess you have no way what of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait. Wait a minute. You're talking as if Ryoma saw that motive video. Didn't you just say that he only checked the name and didn't watch huh? the video? Huh? Did I say huh? that? What are you getting at? Well, you know. I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone has to step up and speak for poor Ryoma. I told you. Again, what's your point? That he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? Um, I'll get to that in a sec, but why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Why? How do you know that? Huh. What? Swap motive videos? Didn't we agree to not show them to each other? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because once you watch them, you've got a motive to kill. What? But if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who will be in the video? No. I don't. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> Once I know I've got someone important to me, I'll have a reason to live. Jeez. If I have got a reason to live, then I've got a reason to escape here with In you guys. Words. In other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. Aww. Poor Ryoma. You didn't deserve this, Ryoma. You didn't. Oh, my God. Please. So, please. Aww. Hmm. That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason well, to live. You know. Which means you shouldn't have shown him his motive video in the right. first place. What do you mean? What did his video show? Ah. Nothing. His motive was empty. Huh? Empty. Oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? What is it? His nothing. All right. Huh. Back by popular demand. So his it's really time has nothing. For the motive video. Hmm. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado. Mm-hmm. Oh. This message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Under construction. Unfortunately. There is no one in the world who is important to you. Oh, I'm wow. so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. He's lying. Sorry. 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 Oh, my gosh. He didn't even have anybody. That's sad. No one was important to him? Always messing around. That's what he was shown? If he saw something like that, he had none to care for and none who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kirimi claim his I life. See. So that's why. He must have just watched that video before I summoned him to meet with me. It can't be. He just gave up then? To hell with that. That damn like moron. That. It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to have too many reasons because. to live. That's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kirimi? For too many yes. reasons? You are free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and his people. For everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and My elderly. Apologies. I wanted to live. Cure me. Oh, <laughs> Monokuma, Gonta have you a question. Need something? Oh, what is hey. it? Can Gonta be blackened instead of cure me? No, Gonta! What? Gonta. Gonta, not smart boy, but even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. <laughs> cure me should live, not Gonta. World needs her. Oh. Um. I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kirimi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> Kirimi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Kirimi's survival would result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez, Jeez maybe it would have been better if we'd gotten the culprit wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, if Kirimi survives, then the nation's future will be secure. Then what was the point of doing all of this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Was I wrong? I shouldn't Shuichi. have. What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my psychic, then suck it up. He's like, don't you dare get depressed again. Not on his watch. Not on Kaito's watch. I know that's right. Huh? What? Right. That goes for all of you. To hell with all this value of life shit. Right. Life's not just some thing. You can't trade it or put a price on it. Kaito. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. I mean, it's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we it. didn't do the wrong thing. Life's a purpose is to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the of stars. Course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I wanna live. I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna Jeez. die here. The idiot's talking again. <laughs> Look, y'all need to stop calling Kaito an idiot, okay? Stop bullying him. But he's right. I mean, you're right too. He is an idiot, but he's so right. Divine. Yep, he's an Atua damn idiot. <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up. Hey, shut up. I told you to stop calling me an but... idiot. Maybe his stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Kirami certainly looks shaken huh? by it. Huh? Shaken? Oh. 
Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kirimi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up even now. <laughs> she was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Ooh, Kirimi, you bitch. You bitch. You really wanted us to sack her. She really, she, she said, you know what, I'm caught. And I'm gonna let everybody else feel guilty and just have them sacrifice themselves for me so that I can live. Ooh, you dirty girl. You dirty girl. Huh? What? But... Oh, but Monokuma would never allow Black into escape punishment, so maybe she wanted everyone to rebel so she could use that as a cover to escape on her <laughs> own. How about it, Kirimi? Am I close? You are the most detestable Cretan I have ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet allowed me to explain <laughs> anyway. Wait, what he just said was true? You try to trick Gota? Try to trick everyone? Really? Seriously, you backstabbing cunt? Enough, she was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody could blame her for that. Correct. That's right, I must survive because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of the city. So no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to huh? give up. Cure me? I see. You still refuse to give up. So what do you intend you to must do? must live. I intend to live. I must survive no matter what it takes. If I must debase myself, so be it. I will drink filth and eat carrion to survive. I will survive. I will do anything, anything to survive. She screamed and she started running. Oh, she tried to escape? Oh. Oh. Wow. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was a completely undignified I exit. I have to escape. I won't die Girl, here. Girl, you about to get executed. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. There's no way I'm letting you get out of here. Oh yeah, you about to die, girl. It was an ugly and raw and feral, and she ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out, run, 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 Kirimi. Please run, please run, run, please hurry, run. Like I said, I'm not letting you leave. Oh Lord, she is going to get caught. You live, I refuse to die in a hellhole like this. Oh my God. I've prepared a special yep. punishment he getting her ass. for Kirumi Tojo. He is his getting her ass. Aid. Oh for my, my god. Nation, for my people. Mm. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. I will not die. Oh my god. I feel it. I have never seen someone try to run away from an execution. I've never seen that. That is new. That is new. She running. She's not even getting dragged. She is running. She is running away. Oh my god, girl. You are a rebel. Oh, it's a notice to quit. Hmm. Strand of agony. Oh, and it has the spider. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. And she gotta hurt herself to go up and climb out. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, no! Oh, wow. And you're still gonna go through it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh! 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 Yikes! Oh, my God! Oh, poor Kirimi. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and then it then it cuts. Oh wow. Wow. An imaginary exit. Oh! oh!
<laughs> we don't need them. <laughs> don't need them. Let's get along. We few remaining Monica's must get along. We are all friends. No matter what, we must always get along. <laughs> Not even father can stop us from getting along. I will not forgive that. Not if he knows what is good for him. <laughs> he said, look, if, if, if Mother Kuma get in the way, his ass is getting chopped up too. Everybody, everybody could be on the on-site list. <laughs> he said, what? This academy belongs to us. The age of the Monica's begins now. <laughs> with me young man and yet this ac attitude of yours is just so cute it's so cute how your little crew has shrunk by one member yep shrunk you're not getting any larger you know ah uh, it's so unbearably cute all this cuteness makes me feel like i'm about to sneeze oh oh bitch <laughs> it's an ugly bitch stop it it doesn't matter now's not the time for that Kirimi, like I can't that. take this anymore. Even Kirimi was killed so brutally. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Am I going to end up like that I'll too? You. I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, just stop this killing game. I don't care if we stay trapped come here on, forever. Come on. Oh, isn't that what the two has said? All desire, so. even your desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> it's Monokuma who's corrupt. He is the one who distributed the motive videos. I see. Yes. Those videos were more dangerous than we thought to have driven Kirimi That's that far. True. What worries me is, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what else is true or false. Okay. That must be why Kirimi did not want to show the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage as she did, this killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey. If that's the case, then we really shouldn't show our videos to of each course. other. Of course. That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. However. I had assumed Kokichi would try to show us our videos to get under our skin, but that did not come to pass. What, I wonder, were his intentions? Uh, huh? I never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kirimi uh, said. Um, what Kirimi said. So everything you saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Hmm. That's... What she said earlier, huh? correct? What about uh, it? She um... said she remembered, and it didn't sound like a lie, either. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light, if it made her remember. What? Huh? The properties of flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kirimi remember something she never should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Um... That's true. Does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos mm. and if that's the case maybe it's for the best if we don't watch the videos as long as we don't see the videos we don't know our motives we have been saying this the whole damn game we know not to look at the damn videos we know this good lord uh, okay yeah now i'm convinced it's probably for the best these motive videos will mess us up it's better if we just believe yeah. each other that's right it's best if we not remember our motives for everyone's sake yeah. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've heard so yet. Mean. How rude. I'm always doing stuff for it's everyone's sake. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Um, but maybe seeing Kirimi's final moments have just made me change my because. views. She tried to escape until the very end. Running away to live might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe. Maybe facing the truth isn't That's enough. Right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. You just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. Hmm. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. Uh... Fyrick? Pyrick? I don't know how to say that. Victory. We had still lost a friend. What is the end Kaito spoke of? And how do we reach it? I still don't know. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course You're of right. action. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle like all day. You. Like you even have a brain to I use. Don't forget you. Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow It'll it to go okay. on. It'll be fine as long as you listen to a tour. We'll all be just fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the mm. sky? It's just, even when all of this bad stuff happens, stars always so what? pretty. But stars here are different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Uh, um, huh? Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, going to look it, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Hmm. Far away? Huh. Are we like in another country? Maybe? Are we in another country or are we in like... Hmm. This has me thinking, y'all. Y'all know this has me thinking and my, my, my wheels start turning. Now, I'm thinking 
that the punishment that Kirami got was a clue because when she was climbing up that thorn, she thought that she saw the exit, right? She thought that she was getting out, but it was just a drawing of like a sky, basically. So, and with Gota saying that he doesn't remember these stars, it's making me think that they are in like a, like a, like a place that's not a place. Like they might be in a facility, maybe. They might be in a, a facility with an artificial sky, an artificial, because there's no bugs in here either, except for the ones that he put in there, like the larva. Hmm. Are they in an artificial place? Like, you know, if you guys know the Truman Show, like, is it like that? For the people that have seen the Truman Show, is it like that? I feel like it might be like that. Like, it's the Truman Show, and everything is made to look like we're in a place somewhere, but we're not really. We're, like, in a building that's just really big. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, so... Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Okay. Yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. I have to get tell you guys huh? something. What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Now, now, it won't take that long, so just listen to what I have to what say. What is it? Well then, what is it that you have to say? Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? But that's ridiculous. There's a way worse liar than me in our group. Huh? Oh, a liar worse than you. Oh? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? Oh, what? What? What do you mean Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason oh, to live. Yeah. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Huh? Blackmail? Um, Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like, if you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the very last minute. Wait, what, what shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity. <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Oh? Oh? For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. Did she run? Oh, <laughs> shit. You know, mm. this is an interesting turn of events. Uh-oh. Would, would you really kill me in front of everyone? Are you the ultimate assassin? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Right. Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. Huh. That's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Right? Huh. Miss Ultimate Assassin. Oh! That's why she didn't want us to get in there. I, I knew it. I was like, is she an assassin? Because she does look like she kills people. I said this before. I think I said that in the first episode. What? And that's why I'm like, why does she have a big ass red door? And because it looks so ominous. Like she looked like a fucking vampire. But that's because she's an assassin. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So we hit, we hit some troops here. A thin line divides heaven and hell. Wow. Wow, so she's the ultimate assassin. I called it. I called it. I called it. I knew it. All right, y'all. So that is the end of chapter two for Danganronpa V3, Kill of Harmony. Y'all, I might be the ultimate psychic a little bit, maybe. Because I'm not always right, but like I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track, I would say. Because I was 80% right with how this kill went down. I was already suspicious of Kirami because she wore black. But the black wasn't even from her dress. It was from the gloves. So I got that wrong. And I knew that she was able to slide his body across. But I was thinking like from the handcuffs. But like not, not the tube. So like I was wrong with that. But I also thought that she was like, that Maki was like the ultimate van. I said the ultimate vampire. And I've said the ultimate assassin before. And... Cause I was like, she does not look like a caregiver at all. She does not give off that vibe. But, seems like I was right about that too. Things are getting very interesting in this game. Things are getting very interesting in this game, okay? So, <laughs> if you guys, and, and oh, and let's not, let's not forget um, Monadam's a serial killer, okay? Because he has killed Mada Kid in the first chapter and Monasuke in this chapter. I feel like he's gonna kill maybe the red one next chapter, I don't know. One of them's gonna go. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll be back with another episode of Danganronpa. It's getting wild, y'all. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And do so.